fabulous. Hi everyone. Let's take a look at Lego Batman 1. It's been a very, very long time since I last properly played the Lego Batman trilogy, I suppose I should say. I am a fan of Lego Batman 1 and Lego Batman 2. Lego Batman 1 I think is the best one in my personal opinion. Although I do like the open world in the second one. But here we are. We have Lego Batman. It's awesome. How can we not love it? So, yeah, I thought we could take a look at Lego Batman today. I think it's an interesting game, and I'm excited to look at it. So, word of warning, just before we dive on in, I do need to mute cutscenes in this, because, of course, they play music. However, I can otherwise uh, just, you know, play it with sound like normal. So, we should be all good to go. Luckily, in this game, they don't talk, so you don't need subtitles. They just make random noises. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, we're going to go with a new game and get on with it and see how we get on. So I'm going to mute it to start with just because, of course, you know, it's going to be a cutscene and it's copyrighted. So let's dive on in anyway. Here we go. Hello, Archie. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. And yeah, Lego Batman's a great game. I love it. How are you doing? I turn it down a bit on my headset. But yeah, okay, so for cutscenes like this, we have to mute it due to copyright music. But in gameplay, of course, we will unmute it and you can hear everything. <laughs> but what can I say? We're just forced by the uh, copyright lords. That's how it goes. But it's all right. I love Lego Batman 1. I literally grew up with this. Same with Lego Star Wars Complete Saga, to be fair. Both awesome games. Really awesome games, these. I love them. Came back from work and relaxing with a quality live stream. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you're tuning in. Oh. Oh my god, so looking at this when you compare it to some of the like modern day, you know, Lego, well, updates with all the animations and things, it's really different now actually when you compare it to this. Times have really changed, they really have. <laughs> and the funny stupid noises, it was always great fun, I love that. I don't mind voices to be fair in the Lego games, it's fine, but the weird noises just kind of made it hilarious. <laughs> All right. Hello, Fly. How we doing? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. And Gabriel, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Is that Lego Harry Potter? Nah. <laughs> you could say that, but nah. <laughs> I think it was Jim Gordon. God, it's so weird looking at some of these characters here when you compare it to the newer ones. Like, Poison Ivy looks completely different in this game compared to how she looks in Lego Batman 3. It's nuts. Freeze looks completely different as well. I think the only one that looks slightly similar, really, is Two-Face. Although Riddler looks pretty similar. <laughs> Good old Clayface. We love Clayface. Oh, good. There's no copyright music on this bit. Although, it's kind of pointless to unmute this, I suppose, just because as soon as I start it, there will be copyright music. But it's all right. We'll just mute it again. I always like this for like each level of Lego Batman 1. You had this whole little introduction to each level and what you're doing. But also, you got to see each villain on the screen like this. I just think it adds a bit more personality to each villain you're going to witness or come up against, you know, in the level, right? It's neat. I like it. I like it a lot. Clayface is also hilarious in this game. He's very different in this game to how he actually is in Batman, but fair enough. Right, let's mute it again quick for the cutscene. And then we can unmute it again. <laughs> Clayface is an actor in canon, yeah. In this game, he, I guess, is an actor, but also, I, I don't really know what to define him as in this game. A monster? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
No, it wasn't just in the Harley Quinn series for comedic effect. It's in general. Right. Okay, here you go. You can finally get some proper sound. And you get to hear lots of weird noises. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess to explain it, there are two stories in Lego Batman 1 for people that haven't played it before. There's the... Oh, hello. <laughs> I forgot they do that, but they just randomly fly in with umbrellas. So there's the like good side so the heroes like batman robin and all that and then there's the actual villain side where you get to play as the villains and sort of look at their story just building up to the events that we are doing like basically right now for example with clayface which is really cool i like the fact that they had two sides uh but yeah we'll try and you know i guess we'll try and mix and match between the two i guess we'll see how we get on with batman stuff today because uh, there are three, well, there are three stories altogether, but I reckon we can do it. I reckon we'll do it. I can't quite remember if you unlock the villain's story once you complete Riddler's uh, hero campaign. I'll call it hero campaign all the way through, or if you had to complete all the hero campaigns before you could do that. I think it's just completing Riddler's. I could be wrong, but I think so. Also, hello there, Mike. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. And yeah, there is no voice acting in this LEGO game. This is one of the old LEGO games where they don't talk. They just make weird noises. <laughs> uh, I think it was LEGO Batman 2, actually. I'm pretty sure that was the first LEGO Batman game where they actually made noises. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was LEGO Batman 2. Because it wasn't Lego Lord of the Rings, because Lego Batman 2 came out just before Lego Lord of the Rings. So yeah, I'm pretty certain it was uh, Lego Batman 2 was the first game in the series to actually have proper voice acting. It was also the first game, I'm pretty sure, that had open world added to it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Lego Batman 2 really took the series in a different direction, didn't it? <laughs> it's weird, because if you like look at Lego Batman 1, it's a very different kind of game, in my opinion, to 2. And, to be fair, the third one. I don't know. I guess you kind of have to look at it like this. They go Batman 2 and 3 kind of work together and sort of follow on from each other quite well. Lego Batman 1 is kind of its own identity, almost. I guess it probably has some link to the other two, but really it's more just taking a look at the films that came out before that were awesome and effectively going, yeah, We'll just turn that into Lego and make it stupid. <laughs> That's pretty much what they did. Oh dear. A big blob. Uh, do you play Batman Arkham Knight? I have indeed played Batman Arkham Knight many, many times, Gabriel. Far too many times. <laughs> I played all the Arkham games, Gabriel. Many times. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Actually, who needs to go over here? Batman, go on. Please don't shoot at me while I'm on here. Ah, you're shooting at me while I'm on this. Not a good time. Get rid of him. I will admit, it does feel a little strange without music in a Lego game. But at the same time, it's needed, so what can you do? It's a bit like uh, when we streamed James Bond last week. Felt so strange without the music of that game. It just didn't feel quite right. It almost felt unnatural. But, you know, these things happen. Not much you can do about it. Also, I saw you jumped in as well, John. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. As always, nice to see you. Oh, I wonder if I could... Oh, well, at least I killed Robin, I guess. But, no. Oh. <laughs> I was, re Ooh, hello. I was really hoping I could actually uh, blow up the metal bit underneath that. I guess it's wishful thinking. Hey, it's part of my QA background, alright? I like to try and break games. <laughs> what could I say? It's a natural way of life. By the way, this game is as loud as it can go. It's normally a lot louder, this game, because of course you have the music, right? But because we haven't got any music, this is literally as loud as it goes. And I'm not joking, I've got everything turned up to max for this game. That includes Streamlabs, by the way. 
So I actually can't turn it up any more if you guys wanted it any louder. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Ooh, blue stud, blue stud. I like blue. I like purple more, but blue. Good stuff. Also, just so you're aware, everyone, I know that usually when we stream, obviously the chat can be quite active sometimes, and of course, everything flies by so quickly. But, yeah, it's loud enough so we can hear it. Nice. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you for letting me know, Archie. Yeah, what I was going to say is I know the chat can sometimes be quite lively and there's a lot going on. Like when we streamed uh, two weeks ago, Chamber of Secrets PS2, the chat just kept moving way too fast for me to be able to keep up with. So I decided to put a little bit of an experiment on with the chat this week where we've slowed the chat right down to see if I can effectively keep up. We'll see how it goes. So if you write a comment, by the way, and I actually end up responding really slowly, then that is the reason why. But we'll see how it goes. I'm testing it. Because if it works well, then I might as well just use that going forwards, and then it means I can actually keep up with you all. Obviously not every stream, you know, the chat gets way too quick and I can't keep up with it, but, you know... For the most part, some streams it can just get way too fast and I just cannot physically keep up with it. It's not possible and that rat just went flying. Anyway, uh, hopefully it will help me out quite a bit. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. We'll see. Oh, also, normally, and John, this is kind of relevant to you, I suppose. Uh, normally, I put a link to the discord within the chat just so it's easy for people to find if they want to join it and so on but uh, this week we've done something a little bit different the discord link is still down in the description so you can always find it there if you still want to join entirely up to you if you do want to join of course but yes it's still there um but this week instead i have pinned the lord of the rings return of the king pc fix guide that i put out earlier this week it's just there for the sake of you know it's new and i know not everyone is aware of it yet so it gives everyone the opportunity to easily find it for the time being so that's what's pinned inside of the chat for this stream this week However, next week it will go back to just having the Discord pinned in again. Oh, oh I was going to jump up and get that. Oh, well. Ooh, there's a purple stud up there. Don't tease me, game. I like purple studs. <laughs> they make me rich. <laughs> oh, why would you tease me like that with a purple stud? Damn you, TT. <laughs> Oops. I am curious to know what TT is making as their new game. Obviously, we've had Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, and there's always been like all these random made up, just completely made up, I might add, um, ideas of what the next Lego game's going to be. But I don't know. For me, I have a feeling that it's possibly going to be something to do with Lego Lord of the Rings, maybe. The reason I say that is because we've also got the Rings of Power series now. And there's a load of other new Lord of the Rings like TV shows in the works. I'm wondering if they're going to try and do something with those as well as the movies and stuff. We'll see. But a lot of people think it's going to be Lego Harry Potter, but it just would literally be pointless doing Lego Harry Potter, quite frankly. I mean, if it happens, cool, I guess, but it is pointless because we've had that remastered already. And in all fairness, I would imagine that they would want to do that with the new TV series for Harry Potter that's coming out, right? Rather than just redoing a game based on the movies again. I can't see that happening. I guess they could do Lego Indiana Jones, seeing as there's a new film now, so they could do that. But again, I feel like it's unlikely. Who knows? <laughs> what is the best uh, Lego... Hang on. What is the best Lego 
Batman, the video game, or kill the Justice League? What is the best game? Uh, well, for me, I will always say I prefer Lego Batman. <laughs> but that's fair enough, you know. I grew up with Lego Batman. I've done nostalgia for it. Plus, I also just really like it. So, yeah, for me, it's Lego Batman. But, you know... I can't really say a lot when it comes to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League because of course I worked on it but all I'll say is that's your opinion really what you think of it so there you go <laughs> but otherwise I can't say anything else about it it's always annoying that always annoying when you just can't talk about things <laughs> but there we go what can I say <laughs> Right, now will this glitch out? It shouldn't do, because I've got the V-Sync thing on. Hey, it didn't glitch out. Good. That's the way they're just these people casually in here. Even though, you know, there's like a load of folks just running around the place in the streets. But there we go. Ah, Mr. Chip. Nice to see you, Chip. Right, give me a minute and I will catch up on the stream. Let me blow up some desks and get money because I like money <laughs> right that'll do okay uh, yeah well the HP2 bring quite some excitement doesn't it HP2 yeah it always does <laughs> HP2 is one of those games that it doesn't matter actually which HP2 it is any of them will do it actually even the GBA one did it so that proves how I guess iconic HP2 is as a game um, but yeah HP2 is one of those games that if you stream it there's just going to be endless people in the chat it's guaranteed um, oh nice I did not uh, yeah, did notice it wasn't the discord link this week I thought it must have been relevant yeah there was a reason for it John that's alright discord's down in the description still so if anyone wants to join it you can just point them there. <laughs> it's easy to find. I personally prefer the third game, but I do love HP2. Yeah, I would say I prefer the third game, HP3, when it comes to console. When it comes to PC, no. <laughs> but yes. Why not do a Lego stream of you making an actual physical Lego set? <laughs> it's all in the loft, mate. <laughs> I'm not going in the loft to go and get it all down. It's probably buried under loads of other stuff now. But I'm sure it could have been great when I was younger, mate. I used to have a lot of Lego, actually, when I was younger. Sorry, Mike, you missed out. <laughs> Right, um, I've really not got a lot of space on my desk today for putting the tea anywhere, but oh well, I'll have to sit there. Right, let's go. <laughs> uh, there he is, good old Clayface. Just quickly mute that because it's got copyrighted music. Don't mind me. Okay, now we can unmute it. <laughs> uh, I will confess... I'm glad that at least, you know, with like Lego, um, Star Wars, the um, Skywalker Saga, that they did an update, at least now, where you can just mute all the music in the whole game, so it's not, you know, around for uh, the cutscenes as well. I do kind of wish, though, that, you know, they could have done that for every game years ago and I don't know why they didn't to be brutally honest with you but there we are yes Chip is here Mr. Chip is around I like the way Chip is called the legend himself how did Chip get the name legend himself eh but yes Chip is here Oi. Very much. Uh -huh. how's it feel Clayface I will confess, Clayface, you're a very different kind of character in Arkham City. <laughs> but you also have probably one of the most awesome boss fights in the series. There's no denying it. 
I love your boss fight actually in Arkham City, it's so fun. God, you can hear the weird sort of like ambient effect, it sounds so strange without the music, but yeah, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, red brick. I'll take that. <laughs> Not sure which one it actually is, but I will take it. The poor guy's just stuck in the wall forever. Oh, what? A... Okay, that worked well. Right, come on then. And he's gone. Right, time to mute now. <laughs> Don't think the whole streaming and copyright thing existed. You just go, no, it didn't. It didn't. But the thing that I'm getting at, Mike, is the fact that you can mute music within the game on this quite happily, but you can't mute the music in the cutscenes. Why not just have it for both in the first place? You know, it just would have made so much more sense. That's what I'm getting at. It's just so strange. It's an odd thing to do. But oh well, I guess that's just, you know, what they do in the past. What can I say? This bit actually still has copyright music in it. Really? Wow. I didn't expect that. I thought this bit would not have any music, but fair enough, it does. Okay, well, this bit's staying muted then. <laughs> oh well. Uh, do, do, do. Clayface in Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum? It's a pretty iconic encounter with his shifting looks in that. Oh, yeah, you mean inside the cell. I know what you mean now. I actually forgot about that. But yeah, I know what you mean. Where he changes into Gordon... Uh, Cash and I think the Warden, right? Pretty sure he changes into just those three. But yeah, you get to see him, but then of course he, well, doesn't really do anything else, but yes. Ah, hello there, Mike. Nice to see you. Yes, yeah, Lego Batman. Lego Batman is great, man. You've got to love Lego Batman. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, we'll put it there. Okay. I'll have to keep it muted again for a minute because it's going to go straight into the next one with copyright music. But after that, we'll unmute it. Hmm. Was it something that entered players' heads years ago? I mean, to an extent, yes. But still, I would argue that as a company, it should have really just been there by default. If you're going to allow muting inside gameplay of music, why not do the exact same thing across the board? You know, why not mute cutscenes as well as gameplay together under one option? It makes logical sense. <laughs> but there we are. What can I say? Logic doesn't always hit everything. Ouch. Oh, I probably should mention this, actually, as a development that happened during the week. I kind of forgot about this until just now. I can blame Mike for reminding me about this, because he plays zombies. <laughs> That's what I remember. Uh, but I'll mention it anyway. I guess there probably should be some news being put in the server about it. I'll do it later. Um, if you play Black Ops 3 on PlayStation 4 or 5, then it's a good idea if you not to play online in any capacity anymore, i.e. put your PlayStation 4 and your PlayStation 5 into offline mode. The reason for that is because that game is now ratted, and it actually is ratted, which by the way is something that I truly am quite amazed by, the fact that that has actually happened on console, but here we are. So yes, they can now, hackers, uh, obviously take control of everything you do in game and so on. 
They can also access your web browser inside your PlayStation. They can also access your just general menu of the PlayStation. So if you have any credit card info or anything stored on your PlayStation, which you should, by the way, by default, just as a PSA warning, um, then, yeah, you know, you should be aware of that. As far as I'm aware, that's a problem only on PlayStation at the moment. I haven't seen anything about it on Xbox, so I think Xbox is alright, but I could be wrong. <laughs> but either way, I'm warning you now. <laughs> I know there are a lot of people that still play Black Ops 3 on PlayStation, so I'm just warning you. It is, ironically enough right now, and this is kind of weird to say, it is actually safer to play Black Ops 3 on PC than it is on PlayStation right now, which is certainly something I wasn't expecting to ever say in my life, but here we are. Anyway, uh, yeah, there you go, there's your PSA warning. <coughs> if you play Black Ops 3 on PlayStation, so PS4 or PS5, then put your PlayStation into offline mode when you play it for the time being. Will Treyarch update it? Probably not. Will Activision update it? Probably not. Will Microsoft update it? Maybe if you're lucky. But don't get your hopes up. Because they're probably going to focus on their own platforms, not, you know, their arch enemy platforms. <laughs> but who knows? They might patch it. I don't know, Microsoft might actually care enough to patch it on PlayStation, but I wouldn't get your hopes high. I would say that, to be brutally honest, Black Ops 3 at this point just needs an update across the whole freaking board on every platform. I know that Microsoft is currently looking at the back end of CODs on Xbox to sort them out for Game Bar, so who knows, maybe they'll have something that actually sorts them out for everything. That would be great. Don't get your hopes up, but it might happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, haven't Xbox and PlayStation always been hacked? They've been hacked in a way where you could obviously go into public lobbies and you'd have stuff that's pretty simple, right? So mob menus, right? That basically just give people cop loaders, stuff like that. That's always been around, yeah. But no, it's a bit more significant now. Because uh, if you know, like on PC, if you play solo, right? Without either Sirius's patch or if you're not playing offline basically then um, you know someone can use mob menus and things in order to actually attack you while you're playing on your own that's the extent of it now right you can't just boot up Black Ops 3 right on your own anymore and just sit down and enjoy a solo game or playing with your friends because that stuff happens because unfortunately there are very sad people in the world that have nothing better to do in their lives but to ruin everyone's fun <laughs> Yes, I know, it sucks, but there we are. Anyway, I think really Black Ops 3 at this point just needs a serious patch. Would it get it? Don't know, but it certainly needs it. It's ironic actually saying it needs a serious patch because of course the PC port has got Sirius's patch in order to help fix it. Yeah, what can you do? But anyway, yeah. There you go. There's your warning. <laughs> I personally don't almost care anymore about the COD stuff. I've tried to help out regarding that hacking bomb long enough now. And I just don't care. <laughs> I really don't anymore. I've lost the will to care. But I will, of course, warn people if something's wrong. Just so, you know, you have an idea. But it's up to you to deal with it. Anyway, there you go. Uh, I feel like this whole situation with Cold War was supremely overblown because uh, yes there's hackers but they'll only target those streaming. On Black Ops Cold War, Cold War, I mean, I would argue Cold War's one was not too awful. And it still isn't by the way, Cold War is fine as it stands right now. Um, but no, when it came to Black Ops 3, and still is with Black Ops 3, a lot worse. They don't just target streamers on Black Ops 3, they do actually target anyone <laughs> at this point. The problem is, you see, with Black Ops 3, once these guys run out of streamers to attack, which they are, because all the streamers are either just not playing it, or they're playing it with patches now to get away from the hackers, uh, yeah, they start targeting other people that they can. It's just the way it goes. I would argue now that if you honestly want to play the actual multiplayer anymore, 
at all, then you just shouldn't. <laughs> There's really no reason to play multiplayer on Black Ops 3 anymore. It's just broken now. But, oh well. Anyway, there you go. All I'll say is, if you're going to play Black Ops 3 on Xbox right now, you're probably fine. You can at least play it solo on Xbox or with friends. Doesn't seem like there's a problem. Uh, playing public lobbies, I just would advise you don't play public lobbies in general on CODs. From, I guess, beyond. No, before Vanguard. I would even argue playing public lobbies on Cold War is questionable, but probably alright, but questionable. Um, but yeah, I would argue you shouldn't do it anymore. The problem, of course, with Cold War and then Black Ops 4 and beforehand is they're all on the old engine. The old engine at this point is just completely and utterly compromised. <laughs> This is what happens, unfortunately, when hackers get enough tools to be able to reverse engineer things. So, there you go. But, in all honesty, Activision could have prevented all this by just actually patching things when they became a problem. But, they didn't. So, it's kind of their own fault. But, oh well. But, the new engine games are all fine, by the way, in case you were wondering. So, that's like, Modern Warfare 2019 is on the newer engine. Sure, it's got hackers on it, but nothing dangerous. Uh, Vanguard, if you honestly want to play that game. I don't know why you do, but Vanguard. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 Remake. Again, not sure why you want to play it. And then Modern Warfare 3 Remake. So yes, those are all fine. But of course, we also, us the zombie fans anyway, have got a really cool new game probably on the way, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm very excited for that. Black Ops Cold War's uh, sequel, Gulf War. Very excited for that game. It hopefully will live up to expectations. I really hope so. Alright, let's turn that off. Uh, but why would they attack those when they get enjoyment out of a reaction? You'd be surprised, honestly, in the end, most hackers, especially if they don't have anyone to get a reaction out of when it comes to, like, streamers and that. You just do it to prove a point. Also, because they're bored. And believe me, a lot of them get bored pretty easily. <laughs> but... The point is, this stuff shouldn't even be happening in the first place, at all. There's no excuse for it. There actually isn't. Right. Anyway, that's enough of COD. Back to Lego Batman. That's where it's at. Whee. Ah, I'm stuck on the ice thing. <laughs> Stop sliding on the ice. This is really not helpful. Nice. It's a good spot to get stuck there, isn't it? <laughs> ah, no, no, no. Okay, he's going to die. Okay, where the hell is he actually gone? Oh, he's there. I was like, shit, is he actually fully gone now? No, he's alright. Well, to an extent, I suppose. I'll just stick to good old Black Ops 1 so those zombies on my PS3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do if you want. I'll be surprised if the servers for that stay up for much longer, to be fair. <laughs> but yes, good old Black Ops 3. I suppose they're doing better than the uh, crew, which is currently literally dead. <laughs> so, uh, really? Boy. So, yes. If you want to play the crew, the first game, good luck, because you can't. <laughs> Still can't believe it. That game's not even that old, let's be real here. And Ubisoft already shut it down. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh, well. 
Right, ooh, can I make it across there? Yes, I can. Very nice. It's weird how this level is so much quieter to the previous one. I'm actually going to have to turn it up a bit. So much quieter than the previous level, but there we go. Oh, and I'm sure Mike would probably like to know this, because I know that Mike is a big fan of uh, Batman Arkham's, and he always wants me to stream them. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you know, Mike. So I will go back to streaming the Arkham games again, but I will do it once the internet around here has been redone. Basically, in case you're wondering, at some point we're getting the entire internet infrastructure completely rebuilt from the ground up around here. Which will give us a lot more speed when it comes to download and upload. Which will be incredible, by the way, for streams. Really will be. But it's not for a little while yet. It should probably happen around June or so. But once that happens, I'll probably actually stream the Arkham games. Because then I can kind of put a bit more, you know, behind the streams rather than having to lower bit rates and things and making them not look as amazing, to be brutally honest. It would be better to make the Arkham games look good. It's like a big part of what they are. <laughs> so yeah, once that happens. He could have totally jumped on that, but alright, fine, Robin. Come on over, Robs. Uh, this will just end up justifying pirating games even more when they take away everyone's access to port. I mean, it's already happening. It's been happening for a long time, Mike. It's been a very big thing, that sort of stuff. I mean, let's take a look at some other games. I mean, look at King Kong, for example, on PC. There's no way to buy that on PC, so the only way to actually get it and play it properly on PC is to pirate it. There basically is a disc version which you can't install and use due to the fact that it has a Russian DRM on it that was dodgy and literally spyware. So as a result Microsoft broke it so that you can't do it. So if you do try and install King Kong's disc version on PC it will break your PC so you then have to reinstall the whole of Windows. So yeah it's good stuff. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, count on Ubisoft for doing that back in the day. So as a result, Ubisoft then created another version which didn't have DRM called the Gamer Edition. It was only a download and they took it down off the stores due to rights of course. And as a result, well, you now have no way of being able to get King Kong on PC normally anymore. So the only way you can do it is pirating it. And you of course have to pirate the Gamer Edition. So there you go. There's a little life lesson for you about King Kong's PC port. <laughs> it's a interesting beast. But that's not the only one. I mean, look at Riddick Assault on Dark Athena, for example. Again, you can't buy that on PC anywhere anymore. So the only way you can get it is by pirating it. It used to be on GOG at one point, which was awesome. And then they lost the rights to it. <laughs> but there we are. Uh, you upgrading to full fiber? Yeah. I am indeed upgrading to full fiber. Very good. I'm looking forward to it. It will be really good. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh well. Right. Uh. Oh, what? Why did he get stuck on that? Oi. Can we try and not lose all the studs, please? That would be great. Whee. Wait, who's that enemy shooting at? <laughs> what the hell? Literally shooting at nothing. That is weird. No idea. Oh. Um, do you think they will disrespect Batman? I don't know. I can't say. 
I have no idea, by the way, what Rocksteady's moving on to after Suicide Squad killed the Justice League at all. So, I don't know. <laughs> Is the answer to that? I don't know. But yeah, Rocksteady will do whatever I guess Warner wants them to do next. It could be a new Arkham reboot. It could be something completely different. I really don't know. I can't answer that. <laughs> I also can't really comment on Suicide Squad, as I've said many times, but I will say it again. I can't comment on it. Having worked on the game, I can't comment on it. <laughs> so there you go. But yeah, I don't know what Rocksteady will be doing afterwards. They could be doing anything. But that's up to them. Uh, Ubisoft has fallen far, seeing their name and old logo pop up on games like Rayman 2 meant you were always in for a good time. Well, there you go. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on all the other things that are pretty depressing in all honesty regarding games being broken and stuff. We'll play Lego Batman and have a fun time, so that's what we're going to do. Um, so I unlocked all Lego Batman achievements with the Xbox 360. Nice one, well, Red Panda. Welcome to the stream, by the way. I remember when I had this back on the 360 back in the days. It was always good fun doing the achievements on Lego Batman 1. They never had them on the PS3 or the PC port, which is kind of sad, but... I don't know, I always quite liked having achievements when I was younger. It gave me something to work towards. I'm not quite as fussed about them these days, being older, but, you know, they're still interesting either way. I would argue they're still fun to do if they provide a challenge. You know, if they're just easy achievements, I don't care as much anymore, but they actually provide quite a difficult challenge. I quite like them. Oh. Hey, that was good timing. <laughs> that was really good timing. I could have literally lost all my studs again there. Do, 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 do. Wait, why is there a railing? I just noticed there's a railing right there of all places you would put one. Why would you put it there? That is such a random place to be putting one, but okay. Right, let's go and fight Mr. Freeze. Uh, plus on other news I'm working on the script oh yeah I saw that your um, new weapon video is out I saw you post that in the server by the way uh, Mike nice one I'm glad to see that you're still carrying on with the weapon reviews regardless of what people might think of regarding um, Modern Warfare Zombies it's good to see They're well put together, by the way, those weapon reviews, everyone. If you're interested in seeing how the weapons uh, function and all their great abilities and stuff inside of the game, you should go and watch those reviews. They are really good. Mike also did some really good stuff for Cold War back in the days as well. I don't know if he's ever actually going to finish some of the stuff that he was doing on Cold War, to be fair. Are you going to finish that, Mike? Because you still had some uh, school streets left to do on Cold War, didn't you? Or have you decided to just not bother finishing up those other ones that you didn't do? I mean, I wouldn't blame you, I suppose. Cold War has kind of hit its, you know, end of life cycle. But yeah, I'm curious to know if you actually are going to do them. Ooh, ooh. No, give me. I want that. It's blue stud. Uh, have you ever done any retro achievements on the old PS2 emulator games or the PS1 stuff as well because it's compatible on Duck Station? No, I haven't. I have looked at their website before and what they 
have done and etc. Stuff like that. Oh, actually, hang on a sec. Um, I have looked at that before, Mike. And to be fair, it looks interesting. I just haven't bothered to make an account and go and do it yet. I'm tempted, though. Because there actually could be some quite interesting things to do on certain games. Especially as people create their own, like, really difficult achievement stuff on that. Whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah, to be fair, I think it would be quite fun to do one day. So, I might look into it. Nope, I got all the school streaks done for Cold War. Uh, the triple gunner was the final send off for Cold War. I had a neat Q&A at the end. You did finish them then? Okay. I didn't realise you did. I thought you missed at least one or two of them. But hey, you did do them. Wow, awesome. I might have missed the chopper gunner one then, I guess. I'll have to go and look at that. I must have missed it or else I would remember. But oh, alright. Fair enough. No, you did do all Cold War. Very nice. Glad to hear. Oh, come on. Barely on the edge. Fun fact, they aren't based off uh, of Xbox, the we they're based off of someone even more inspirational. Eh? Uh, those weapon videos remind me of that. <laughs> I see. Have you tried the uh, retro, what is it called, retro arc achievements or something like that? Have you tried it yet, MP? I'm going to have to call you MP for the minute because Mr. L is also called Mike. You are both called Mike and it's going to confuse the living crap out of me otherwise. <laughs> have you tried those yet, MP? I've never actually asked anyone who's like told me about this if they've ever actually tried that stuff and seen what they're like. Although I did ask Nick so about it once and he said that they were quite intriguing but he didn't really give me many details regarding it so don't know. Uh, Alex remember when I showed you an old BO1 uh, in a minute. An old uh, BO1 perks video back in 2021. Yes, I do indeed. I do. Wow, that was fair. Oh, let me move. Uh, hang on. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, right. <laughs> There's me going like, what the hell is he doing? Ooh, blue stud. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I remember seeing the BO1 perk stuff, Mike, back in J21. M&M's. <laughs> you say M&M's, but we haven't got both of the M&M's here, have we? Because that's Mel and also Mike. Well, actually, no, because now there's another Mike, isn't there? Good Christ. There's three M&M's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's confusing the crap out of me? Mel isn't even in the chat and I'm confused. <laughs> Um, not yet, I need to build a new PC first currently on my old MacBook. Oh, dearie me. That's not looking good, man. Got to do an upgrade. <laughs> Alex, just call me Mr. L to make it easy on you. <laughs> sure thing. I'll call you Mr. L then instead of Mike. I'm so used to calling you Mike. <laughs> but yeah, fair enough. I will call you Mr. L. All right. MP, you're being called Mike again, and Mike, you're now being called Mr. L. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's much easier. So much easier. All right, we'll go with that. And then it doesn't matter about Mel because she's got a different name, Mel, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, I've known you, Mr. L, since... I mean, it would have been 2019, I think, because I remember I met you at the same time that uh, Jack became a somewhat big thing. Lobster, by the way, in case you were wondering which Jack. <laughs> I don't know if there are multiple, but anyway, I'm pretty sure it was 2019. Because it was during the DLC time period of Black Ops 4. That was like around sort of Alpha and Maker time period, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it would have been then. So it's a very long time. Very long time. God, it's been a while. <laughs> M cubed. <laughs> yes, literally. Somebody's going to confuse the crap out of Mel when she arrives. If she arrives. <laughs> uh... I saw a wild M randomly on a nuclear science video the other day. <laughs> oh dear, haven't talked to him in a while. I haven't talked to him since he quit, which I think was probably back in 20... Well, it was when Cold War came out, wasn't it? So it would have been like 20... Uh... I don't know, would it have been 2021 when I last spoke to Jack? Or Lobster? It probably has been that long, actually. It's been a long time, either way. It's definitely been a long time. I don't even know what he's up to these days, because, of course, he just quit and basically killed all the social media presence everywhere, so I have no idea what's happened to Lobster. It's, yes, he has disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> you can never eat a pack of M&Ms again without thinking of us. Very good. Oh, you sent me the chopper gunner video. Thank you very much, Mike. I appreciate that. I will look at that after the stream because I'm interested in it now. I must have not seen the chopper gunner one. I've seen all the others, though. But yes, I will watch that after the stream. I enjoy the weapon videos, and I honestly do recommend people go and watch the weapon videos. Even if you don't like COD, to be fair, you should go and watch them. They are actually really entertaining. Um, oh, I'm calling him Mike, aren't I? <laughs> MP. There you go. And not MP. Jesus Christ, even my brain's figuring this out. It's going to take a moment or two, but it will get it. Um, Mr. L. There we go. We'll get it right. <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, Mr. L's weapon videos are honestly a really good, really good watch. I do really recommend them. They're great fun. They're actually really informative anyway, so, you know, you're going to learn a lot from them. But, they are also really quite amusing. He's put a lot of great humour into them. So I do recommend them, seriously. Do go and watch them. And of course, like for Cold War's time period, he didn't do weapon-specific reviews. They were score streak reviews. But either way, I'm waiting for the day when he goes to Vanguard and does, like, a how to make a map good review. <laughs> that actually probably would be quite a decent series for Vanguard. How to make a map like Durham Fun good. Don't make it. <laughs> End of review. <laughs> nah, I'm only kidding. But yeah, no, seriously, do go watch them. <laughs> uh, so this is where the Arkham Knight Batmobile inspiration came from, what they go Batman. <laughs> Not quite. I can't quite turn into like a full-on movable tank that drifts sideways. Is this Lego Man? This is Lego Man. What's up, by the way, Super Game? It is Lego. It's Lego Batman. <laughs> uh, they're informative and don't waste your time with a 10 minute YouTube review. It's true. It is true. They are honestly really good watch, those weapon and score streak reviews that 
uh, Mr. L has done. They are really good, I promise. You will enjoy them if you go and watch them. I highly recommend them. Really do. Highly recommend them. That's why I like them being promoted in my server. Because it's nice to see them there. They are so worth your time. And even like I said, if you don't play the game, just watch them for the comedy alone is good enough. Because it's good. But also I know that, you know, Mr. L honestly does actually put a hell of a lot of time and effort into them. He really does. So... I know that he would probably appreciate it like mad if you guys actually did check them out. He's a very grateful person, I promise. There you go. Not oh, really. There you go. Uh, I'd rather use the Springfield from World of War over making Vanguard reviews. <laughs> Would you? I don't know about that. The Springfield was pretty awful. <laughs> oh, the Springfield, man. What a gun. Honestly. But, it's, uh... Yeah, to be fair, Vanguard reviews... I mean, it would be pretty easy for me to make a review about Darren Fong for the most part, which is literally just don't play it. <laughs> it's really that simple. Don't play it. It's probably, no, I don't even have to say probably. There's no need to say probably in this sentence. It is the worst zombie map ever created. <laughs> By far. There's no denying it. Dan Fong is easily the worst zombies map ever made. You can't tell me any other zombies map in existence is worse. Even if you wanted to say Beast from Beyond is worse. I disagree. I fully disagree. <laughs> Dan Fong is much worse. So much worse. Oh dear. Whee. Uh, I'm doing good, thanks. Good to hear, Super Gaming. Good to hear. Ah, Mel's here. The uh, the third M has arrived. <laughs> oh no. We're going to now have M and M and M. Please don't bring in a fourth M or else this is going to get really confusing. My brain is just coping with two M's. It's now going to have to cope with three M's. Luckily, I call Mel Mel, so it's much easier. <laughs> the other problem with the other M's is both of them have the same name. <laughs> They're both called Mike. <laughs> but yes, it's all right. It's fine. Mel's probably going to be confused as hell as to what the hell I'm talking about. But that's all right. I'm sure someone will catch her up on the fact that there are, well... Now three M's in the chat. <laughs> it's just one has a logo. A proper logo picture. While the other two don't. They're just M's. <laughs> right. Right, come on then. Let's go for a drive. Oh, I'll blow up that car just because why not. <laughs> Let's go. Right, here you go. Have another van. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Uh, hang on a minute. I will have a read of what you were saying a minute ago there, uh, Mr. L. Right, he's not going to go automatically into it, is he? No, okay, right, I can stop here for a sec. Uh, plus, Alex, I don't know if you saw that the VR11 review, but I got Rizzo to give me six VR11 cases for the review pre-season two. I did see your VR11 review. I did see that. That was pretty cool, actually. The VR11 inside of Modern Warfare Zombies is super awesome, actually. It's a really good gun. It's terrible in Black Ops 1, but it's amazing in Modern Warfare Zombies. It really is. I hope it comes back in uh, this year's game, Black Ops Golf 4. I would like them to bring it over. I'll be so down for it coming over. Uh, oh, the second M, the duo. You mean the third M? <laughs> In this case. Oh dear. Wu M and M and M are back again. Oh dear. 
There's another Mike. Yes, Mr. L is called Mike, and then MP is called Mike. They're both called Mike. We do need the scavenger, I agree with that one. Mr. L, I agree. I would like to see the scavenger. I would like to see it though, I think, in the new game. I would just like to see all of the guns that they've made in Modern Warfare Zombies come over to 2024. I think it'd be a good idea just to bring them over, honestly. But yeah, I would like to see the scavenger come back and be updated. I think they could do so much with that gun. It'll be interesting to see if these rumours about the, um, I can't ever remember what its proper name is, but basically the jet gun, the thruster thermidor, I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, that thing, um, it would be interesting to see if that is true, and it will be interesting to see what they do to improve it, because they could make it a really good gun if they wanted to, but we'll see. Uh, Mike and Mel had a glorious photo to ah! take in together, did they? Ah, my god. Hang on a minute. I need to kill Two-Face and Riddler. <laughs> I can't read the chat while I'm being attacked by Two-Face and Riddler. It doesn't work. Alright, I'll come back to the chat in a minute. <laughs> Just gonna blow up the city while I'm here. That's what we do as Batman, you know. <laughs> It's alright, no one minds. <laughs> the council will be totally okay with it. Right. Come on then, where are you? Actually, might as well get the mini kits while we're here, I suppose. Oh, there is a interesting. Anyway, there is a purple stud there, and it, it's painful because there are multiple purple studs just sitting there. They're, they're literally crying out for me to pick them up. It hurts, and I can't pick them up. <laughs> the game is tormenting me with that. And I hate it. <laughs> I hate that torment. I would like it. Hang on, there's a bench up there. Can't let any citizen sit down. Why would you do that? Right, I think that's everything destroyed. So, where are you guys? Come on. Alright, I'm stuck on him. Right, let's go. There you are. Oh my god. <laughs> Bit extreme. Right, let's go. There you go. Seriously? Eh. There we are. And it's done. Nice. Uh, yeah, what was this photo that you want about? Mike and Mel once had a glorious photo taken together in a cinema. You what now? <laughs> I'm not aware of this. <laughs> when did this happen? <laughs> Memories of the original Call of the Dead resurfacing. It's a decent map. I like Call of the Dead. Uh, honestly, the weapon reviews are going to be weird because the weapons I want to review uh, after the Moors, the MTAR, the Crossbow, the Desert Eagle, Full Auto, and the Sidewinder. It is Sidewinder, isn't it? Or is it Sidewinder? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, I swear I thought... Uh... <laughs> Got to make sure I could cover all grounds. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Alex, it was in the Discord a while back, was it? I don't remember this. Someone's going to have to bring this to my attention. I don't remember this. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember you and 
MP Mike, I should say, in a cinema. <laughs> Don't remember this. Credit to John taking it. I see. John was sitting in the cinema with you lot, was he? <laughs> I don't think my brain has got enough brain energy to try and figure out what's going on. <laughs> it's not got it. It's not with it. It can only just tolerate it. Anyway, here we go. We've got Poison Ivy, who literally looks nothing like this in the other two Lego Batman games. Well, actually, I guess if you want to include DC Supervillains, three Lego Batman-related games. She looks so different in this compared to the other ones. It's weird. Because <laughs> the boss is going to be fun. Yeah, I mean, it probably will be by uh, MP, MP, for Christ's sake, brain. Mr. L, <laughs> I will get it eventually. I will get it. Oh, dear. I've been playing a lot of that enlisted zombies. You what now? I think it's pretty hard. Enlisted zombies, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> As you do. Okay, I do quite like these levels with the Bionicle. Bionicle? I can't speak today. Botanical Gardens. <sighs> anyway, yes, I do like these levels. Oh my god, he <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. I was trying to kill him, but I just sent him off for a little swim. <laughs> He's just gone for a swim. Amazing stuff. Anyway, he's gonna die now. Come here, buddy. See you later. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I can't believe I made him go for a little swim. That was great. The music on this level, by the way, is incredible when you actually can hear it. Unfortunately, you can't because of copyright, but it's a really good song. <laughs> It's super relaxing as well for this level, that music. Really relaxing. But it's just really nice music. <laughs> Can't recommend it enough. Although, if you haven't seen the older Batman movies, then first of all, what's wrong with you? But second of all, you probably won't have quite as much nostalgia for the music as I will, I guess. Who knows? But yeah, seriously, if you haven't seen the old Batman films... Then what is wrong with you? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Like the Dark Knight trilogy is awesome and all. But come on, man. You should be watching the old ones. Don't know if we can count the Dark Knight trilogy as being old at this point. Can we count that as being old now? <laughs> I mean, we've had, what, Ben Affleck and also um, Robert Patterson since. I guess we could call the Dark Knight trilogy old. I don't know. It's somewhat old now, isn't it, to be fair? It feels weird that it is kind of getting to that stage, but there we are. Uh, I will send my credited photograph. Very good. Uh, I saw the Luke birthday photo, John. I did see that. I certainly saw the... Uh, the birthday me as a joker for Luke's birthday I will admit that Luke is probably more of the joker he was playing HP 8 on his birthday <laughs> I would call that more of a joke than anything but there we are anyway <laughs> now I will have to see this other image then of uh, MP and Mel and you, I guess, in a cinema. <laughs> and try and understand what the hell is going on. <laughs> uh, funny we talk about the weapon reviews and mine. 
Yeah, people or someone else because someone else said the same thing in another server and it made me smile. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, there you go. That's interesting to hear. Whoops. I wonder if Luke likes his presents you got him. Uh, maybe. He might have liked it. I don't know. Maybe I just gave him a ticket to go and see the M&M &M crew. <laughs> there you go. You can go and see all the M&Ms in action. Straight in the face. Oh yeah, Mr. L, I was going to ask you actually, have you heard much from uh, Jason lately? As in Jason H, as I like to call him for short. I haven't heard much from him for uh, many months now. I was wondering what he's up to with zombies these days. I was going to go on BO4 with him at one time, but that just never ended up happening. But anyway, yeah, curious to know. <sighs> no, not really. Why'd you ask? No, I was just generally wondering because I remember Jason used to talk to pretty much everyone at one time. I'm pretty sure you as well. <laughs> So, I thought you might have heard from him. <laughs> no, I was just curious to know if you had heard from him, really. But, eh, yeah, fair enough. I know he's been complaining about Modern Warfare Zombies crashing. That is... Really? I, I've never had a crash since launch on Modern Warfare Zombies. I will confess. Granted, I haven't played Season 3 at all yet, um, or, to be fair, actually, Season 2.2, .2, but, you know, I will get there. But I certainly didn't have any crashes at all back in, like, the beginning of Season 2 and Season 1. The only time I had crashes was literally when the game came out. And that was not that long either. Why is this not growing, for Christ's sake? But yeah, no, I've never had any issues. I don't know if he's possibly running, I guess, an out-of-date driver for the graphics card that can do it. If he's playing on PC. Um, also, it depends what graphics he's using, I suppose. Okay, I have no idea why that flower is not growing. It's driving me insane. There we go, finally. Jesus. <laughs> why did it take you so long? Really? I was expecting mini kit. Oh, let down. Uh, coming to the West End very soon. Are you, Mel? You're coming to the West End very soon. Fair enough, I see. Well, there we are, I guess. There we are. Oh, I've just run over some poor dudes. Well, dudes, actually, yeah. Multiple dudes. <laughs> Not just one guy. Multiple dudes. Oh, well. <laughs> it's how it works in the Lego world. If you get in the way, you get run over. <laughs> it's perfectly legal in the Lego world, I might add. Uh, anyway, what was that? Uh, for him, he crashes a lot, and I question if it's actually his game crashing. Um... How often does he crash? I'm not aware of him saying this stuff, so I don't know. Like I said, I haven't had any problems now since the launch of that game, when it comes to crashing at all. Uh, and I haven't heard of anyone else, in all honesty, having issues since the launch of the game. And they did, I'm pretty sure it was Season 1 Reloaded, maybe it was Season 1. They made the just general frame rate of the game so much better. Like, the improvement was unreal, actually. Uh, that was incredible. No, I was really impressed by that. 
And yeah, no, it runs amazingly now. Well, at least the last time I played it, it did anyway. Um, so yeah, I haven't heard from anyone regarding the game crashing a lot. So, I don't know. Maybe it's because he's got some account problems. It could well be that. He has in the past been banned multiple times on his account, in all fairness. I remember every time he was doing league play stuff, or rank play, whatever it was, on uh, Modern Warfare 2 and I think Vanguard, I can't quite remember if it was on Vanguard or not, he kept getting banned all the time on it, which was, to be fair, kind of amusing. But, yes, he did always get banned on it. So, it might be that, to be honest, at this point, his account is just considered dodgy <laughs> by Activision's... Uh, anti-cheat and stuff like that so they might be deliberately tampering with it who knows either way it's either that or it's probably just his PC's got problems which I wouldn't put it past it <laughs> yeah no it's interesting to hear because like I said he's the only one then that I know that has these crashing issues I don't know anyone else that has it on Modern Warfare Zombies but interesting to know I haven't been keeping up with zombies that much lately, have I? Well, that's not true. I have been keeping up with zombies when it comes to uh, doing guides and talking to people like Mystery HQ. <laughs> Who, to be fair, I've talked to quite a lot because, of course, I've been working with him quite a bit on the website stuff, you know, over the months. So, yeah. But also, I've been taking a bit of a break at the moment from doing loads of zombie guide stuff because I really mentally needed it. <laughs> I could only take doing guides so often before my brain just goes, nah, I'm not doing it anymore right now. <laughs> Which is fair. So, yeah, I've just been having some time out from zombie stuff, really. It's nice to have a time out every once in a while. Doesn't mean that I hate zombies, by the way, not by any means. But, yeah, you know, eventually your brain needs time out from this stuff. Where's the vehicle gone? No, it's over here. Uh, right, let me read the chat quick. Uh, ah, I see that uh, Mr. Doomstar has arrived. Hello, Doom. I'm going to call you Doom from now on. <laughs> if you make yourself more than a man. Yeah. I mean, a Lego man, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Indeed. It's nice to see you here, though, Doom. Thus it could be possible Jason could be falling out of love with zombies, but who knows, falling out of love with it? Uh, maybe. I mean, I can tell you that I know that Jason is doing a lot of work uh, on custom zombie stuff, so his focus is primarily there, usually. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think it will be key, this next game that's coming out this year, 2024's COD. It will really show, in my opinion, what's going to happen with the community. You know, the old fans right now, I think, are looking to that game and thinking, right, if this is a success, I'll stick with zombies and really care for it. If it's not a success, I'll leave it or I'll just play the old stuff. It basically is going to be that now. I guarantee it. That is what the Zombies community is going to do. I think, you know, for the most part, new players, casual players and stuff, they're going to play it, no matter what. And that's what I expect. But I think for the main, you know, hardcore, real hard time players or people that just, you know, do content creation, it's going to be interesting to see. Now, anyone that brings up Lex as being someone that's <laughs> going to be a person for... You know, seeing what happens with the new game, I, to be honest, wouldn't even care to look in that direction anymore. Um, it's just not worth it. <laughs> Lex has got this quite literal fantasy with Black Ops 3, and I'm not joking. I've got nothing against Lex as a person, by the way. I think he's actually quite a nice person when I spoke to him uh, years ago now. He was actually a super nice guy, but he does have a super love for Black Ops 3, and he's actually kind of too obsessed with it in a way where I'd almost call it an unhealthy obsession 
I really would. Do you still talk to Lex? No, I haven't spoken to Lex for a long time now. It's been a very long time since I spoke to Lex. Uh, the lot that I usually speak to now out of the content creators at the moment. Um, I mean, I guess you could say Jason, but it's been quite a few months now. But originally Jason. Um, but otherwise, it's been Mystery HQ. A lot of talking with Mystery HQ, actually. Um, he's a super awesome guy to work with, by the way, Mystery HQ. Super nice person as well. And definitely someone I have a lot of respect for. Then um, Dalek. Dalek I've spoken to a good chunk so yeah I mean those are the main two I would say I guess Skeptics is another one if people know who Skeptics is him as well various people I need to uh, probably have a chat with DK at some point in some ways. I probably should go and chat to DK again. It's been a very long time since I last spoke to DK. But I would quite like to talk to DK again. DK was always an awesome person to talk to in the past. Super friendly person as well, by the way. Like, really awesome guy, actually, DK. He really is. A lot of people give him a lot of shit just because, of course, you know, he's one of the paid content creators for Activision now, which that's really cool, by the way. I'm happy for it. But yeah, people give him a lot of shit for that. But in general, he honestly is a super awesome person, DK. DK Dynamite. Top lad. And Lego is also a really cool person too. Dalek has always been pretty chill. Dalek's a super nice guy. Honestly, Dalek is a great person. I know he obviously got a lot of shit at one time. And, you know, what happened happened. And to be fair... It was an error. I will not deny it. He made an error there. And yes, he did deserve the uh, comeback for what happened for it. But, you know, he made good on that. And honestly, he's just a really, really nice content creator, Dalek. And actually is super, super happy to just chat and work with people. You know, if you've got a reason to work with him and actually it's something that he thinks is interesting and is a good concept in that, He's willing to work with you. And he's just so nice about it. Honestly, I didn't really expect Dalek to be quite like he was when I spoke to him in the past. But no, he's a super, super supportive guy and super friendly. No, I have a lot of respect for Dalek. I always have had respect for him, really. But no, I've had a real lot of respect for him since talking to him. And things. He really is a nice guy. Truly. Uh, I know I shouldn't, but I am in that mindset that Black Ops 3 is done and buried. Uh, well, I wouldn't go quite that far, but it's certainly not in a great state. <laughs> uh, it's more so the clickbaity thumbnails for his COD videos on why people don't like DK. His podcast with majority are amazing yeah I mean in a lot of ways you've got to also look at the fact that the thumbnails there are actually not specifically designed by DK because of course he gets them commissioned and um, well I think it's actually majority that does his thumbnails for him I might be wrong but either way you know it's up to the person who creates the thumbnails, really, to make the thumbnail what it is. And I will confess, I am not a fan of the clickbaity thumbnails that people use. But you shouldn't really judge a person, in my opinion, just based on that. You know, a person can actually be a super awesome content creator and a nice person in general. And they might have the most awful clickbaity thumbnails on the planet. But no, seriously, you shouldn't judge a person like that. See, another person who uses clickbaity thumbnails very frequently is the Gaming Revolution. <laughs> very good at that. <laughs> but yes, you know, again, with DK, he might do that. But honestly, the guy is super awesome. <laughs> he really is.
I say it's been nice to have a chance to actually talk and interact with loads of different content creators in the COD Zombies community over the years. It's not something I ever imagined myself doing when I was younger. It was never really a plan to do something like that. But, you know, it's been awesome to do it, and it's just nice to interact with all these different people. You can learn an awful lot from it as well, I might add. It's, uh, it's a good thing to do. Yeah, Hoover time. Who here loves hoovering? There must be someone that has an obsession with hoovering every last piece of dust in their room. <laughs> there are people out there I might have to do this. <laughs> Any over here? No. Okay. Uh, again, I like DK and Vajarty and his content. Isn't mostly, uh, can't read the words, sorry, <laughs> Mr. L, it's hidden behind a heart emoji, but I respect him as a person quite a lot. Yes, indeed. OCD, so I can relate. <laughs> uh, did you see the crazy rumours that the next-gen Xbox could be a PC slash console hybrid, as they are doing very poor in Europe? Take it with a pinch of salt for now. I don't know what they will do regarding the next Xbox. Who knows? I know that uh, Microsoft is trying to do a deal with Valve to try and get Steam compatible with the Xbox, which would be interesting to see if that happens. But there's also the rumour that, of course, they're trying to make the next Xbox a pure cloud-based system, and if they do that, that's a... Mm, questionable move but we'll see we'll see you can only see these things once they're properly revealed unless of course some random leak comes along but yeah otherwise you kind of have to take all of these things with a pinch of salt really you always do can't just outright believe everything or else Christ all manner of things would be real wouldn't they <laughs> Hoover feature reminds me of Garfield on the PS2. <laughs> uh, actually, to be fair, I know Chip is a person who's quite keen on making sure that everything looks neat. Chip! <laughs> are you there? There's a Hoover on the screen. <laughs> I know that you are a fan of Hoovering. Doopy doo, doopy doo. What did I do this time? <laughs> I just thought you could do with uh, a little bit of hoovering being shown, although you missed it now because we've run out of things to hoover. But yes, hoovering. We've been hoovering, Chip. I know you like cleaning, so yeah, hoovering. <laughs> if you're wondering, by the way, why we're getting so many studs, it's because we need studs in order to buy things. <laughs> That's why we're doing it. No other reason. Yes, backflip time. I'm not a fan of hoovering. Yeah, you are. You're a fan of hoovering, Chip. We all know you're a fan of hoovering. You love cleaning your room. You love making it clean. You don't like cleaning your desktop, but you do like cleaning your room. Yes. Right. There you go. True. What haven't I done? <laughs> oh. oh, come on. What's Mel blaming Chip for this time? Uh, fancy hoovering my house for me. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'd rather them doing a PC console hybrid than a cloud system. Oh, yeah. To be brutally honest with you, if they do a cloud system, that would be a very, very bad decision. I feel like it would be a strange decision for Microsoft to go for. Just can't see them quite being that crazy to do that. Who knows, maybe they will be, but I feel like it's unlikely. I guess we'll find out, but yeah. Either way. 
Uh, you're hoovering my house chip. No payment until it's happened. <laughs> Gee, that chip. Looks like you're becoming a hoover man. Literally. <laughs> uh, if you pay me in bacon, Mel, I'll do it. <laughs> Deary me. Chip's actually going to accept that he will hoover someone's house as long as he gets bacon. Interesting. What a desire. Oh, there's blue studs. And I can't get them because I can't go swimming. Well, I can, but I can't go swimming in the way I want to. Oh, there's a purple stud there, yeah. <laughs> it's just not fair. I've seen so many purple studs at the moment that I would really, really like to be able to use. And I can't. Uh, wait a minute. There we go. Chip and John, you need to start a hoovering service together. <laughs> oh dear. Well, to be fair, I wouldn't be against Chip coming and hoovering my consoles out. They're probably full of dust still. And it would honestly benefit me quite greatly if he did. Because it would save me a lot of time. <laughs> So please do feel free, Chip, to come and hoover my consoles. <laughs> Hell. Ooh, hang on a minute. There's, uh, there's too much bouncing going on here. Whee! What the hell just happened to Robin? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if he's alive or dead at this point. <laughs> No, 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 that's a blue stud. Good. Whew. Can't be losing my blue studs. Hoovering a console, that's a first. Yeah, you don't quite hoover one. But anyway, <laughs> it's a sort of quick comment regarding it. I'm sure that, you know, our friend Chip has got the abilities. Damn it, that looks really nice because it's got a purple stud. Hey, it's Chip. It is Chip. Mr. Chip is uh, present, doing good working on a video about my favourite Dark Aoife character. Oh yeah. You have a favourite Dark Aoife character, do you, Mr. L? I wonder who it is. Doo -ba -doo. Hello. Riddler people. <laughs> Bonk. In the balls. <sighs> oh my god, can you guys stop spawning for a second? I would like to read the chat. I can't read the chat if you keep attacking me every five seconds. Right, enough. No more attacking. Are we done? No, we're not done. Oh my god. Okay, I feel like they're just going to keep coming in this room, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay, fine. I guess we're just going to have to play this bit for the minute. I will catch up on the chat in a minute. So many studs. So much money. No, they actually stopped spawning now. Nope, they haven't stopped spawning. Literally, as soon as I said it, they started spawning again. Incredible. <laughs> I love it. Do you mind? Okay, right. Can you... Oh, Jesus Christ. They keep spawning. Stop spawning. Please. Right. I'm stuck. There we go. Right, let's get the tap. Well, I guess they're meant to be taps. <laughs> let's get the taps sorted out. You can also get this cool mini kit just chilling back here. Hell yeah. Everyone loves a mini kit. Might as well put these in, I suppose, while I'm here. There we go. Right. Great. 
I could destroy so much there. Right, let's destroy these. Right. Well, I think Robin's got enough stuff to hoover up at this point, I'm sure. Oh, good, you lot have arrived. Hello. just literally lost his balls quite literally there it would hurt so much if that happened <laughs> right okay hoovering time come on hoover it's time to turn into chip and hoover everything I know chip is a fan of hoovering We need more Lego Batman video games like the first one. I agree. I love the first one. The first one's amazing. The second one was pretty decent. I didn't mind it. I preferred the open world part of it to anything else. But yeah, it was alright. Lego Batman 3, I will confess, I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> that one was just not very good. I'm afraid that one didn't sell me. DC Super Villains, to be fair. I actually quite enjoyed that. That was alright. But yeah, I think out of the Lego Batman series, my favourite is probably Lego Batman 1. It's just a really solid game. Super, super solid, fun game. What more do you need? It's also a classic. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't ever done a remaster for this game, actually, on modern day consoles. Especially as they have, like, you know, Lego Batman 2 that they could also remaster with it as well. I am surprised they haven't done it. Okay, you guys are still going to keep spawning. You know what, screw it, let's go. Oh my days, how many of you want to spawn? This is just kind of a bit ridiculous. Alright, end lads here. I will catch up on the chat in a minute, guys, I promise. I've got a certain thing called endless spawning enemies at the moment. <laughs> but I will catch up on the chat, don't worry. catch up on Chip's hoovering business and see how that's coming along these days. <laughs> oh, come on. Thank you. Right, let's go. Uh, can I make that mini kit? Go for it. Oh, I made it. Nice. Right, let's just switch to Robin. Because I thought that might happen. <laughs> yes, I had a feeling that that would probably happen where you just die from... Uh, well, acid. <laughs> so, yes, it's probably best to just switch to Robin, who's not in acid. Hey, right. Uh, catch up on the chat quick. I doubt the enemies will get me over here. Uh, what have we got here? I guess I'm starting a hoovering company. You damn well are. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like it. Keyboard vacuum sold in Poundland. There are keyboard vacuum cleaners you can get. Yeah, they're actually really handy. I uh, recommend those, actually. Obviously, not cheap, crappy ones, but decent ones. <laughs> ones that don't break your keyboard, preferably. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, trying to learn how to code. I did Visual Basic a year ago in college to make a snack game for people with dementia. It was crappy, but got me the grade. Yeah, fair enough. Ten years ago, he meant... Oh, fair enough. Yeah, a little while ago. Um, 
Yeah, no, that's cool either way that you manage to code something. Coding's not an easy thing. It's a challenging area. It's not as easy as you think. Right, muting time. <laughs> I love the way he's just holding that. It's like, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, unmute. Uh. Right. Now, I think there's one level left after this in uh, Riddler's stuff for the heroes, so we're getting close to the end of Riddler's side. I mean, the most... Jesus Christ, okay. The most fun side is definitely, I think, Jokers, to be fair, for the heroes. But either way, I mean, there are some good ones for the Penguin, I think. I don't know if I preferred playing as the villains, to be fair. Like, their stories more than the hero side. I can't really remember which one I prefer more than the other. But, yeah, I don't know. Probably do prefer the villain side a little bit. Their missions were quite cool, actually. Right, that's that one out of the way. Hang on a minute. Got a poison ivy trying to kill me. Can you leave me alone, please? <laughs> please stop ganging up on me. Ah. Robin time. Oh, great. He had to walk into the freaking plant as I switched to him. That was really helpful. Thanks for that, Robin. Right, can we... Oh, my God. <laughs> she is relentless at the moment, Poison Ivy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, right. Go. <laughs> Build. Build quickly. Oh, my God. Really? All right. Well, anyway, we can get the blue studs again. Give me the blue studs. Oh. Might as well get some more studs while we're here, quick. Whoa, Jesus. And she's dead, so there you go. Oh, man. Uh, just need to motivate myself. What, for the coding? Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean... You could say the same about loads of things in life, right? Eat the motivation. Either way, I know you'll probably get there at some point, I'm sure. Give it time. Give it time. And the spawning enemies, yeah. HP4, they're called the vampire mosps, yeah. <laughs> Those vampire mosps are, uh, they're great fun. <laughs> Uh, Has is here. Hello, Has. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. You missed the three M's earlier, Has. There were three of them. There was Mike, Mike, and Mel. <laughs> A lot of M's. I feel so weird that I have to mute this bit because it has music, but I could <laughs> It's weird to me because you don't have nothing, but then for me, I could just hear awesome music and then loads of like... Stuff like this. And you just get nothing. <laughs> but that's all right. Right, we have one level left on Riddler's side here, and then... I want to see if we can do the villain side. I hope that we can. But if not, then we'll just move on to penguin side. But I hope we can do the villain side. I'm still here, to be fair. I know you're still here, Mel. I know you didn't run off. You never run off. <laughs> Uh, 
I mean, the only time you disappear is when you overdid the shots, I think, during Silent Hill 4. But that was all. Otherwise, you're always around. <laughs> <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> do, 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 do. This one's a classic. It is a classic, indeed. It's a true classic Lego Batman one. It's always been a classic, and it's just a really good game. And I love that. And it's also got hoovering, which we all know Chip loves doing. And he's going to be paid by a bacon. Chip gets paid by a bacon from you, and he will hoover everything in your household. I think that's pretty damn good if you ask me. You don't even have to pay him the money. You just grab a piece of bacon, and you're all good to go. <laughs> he just arrives at the door and goes, I'm here to do your hoovering. Where's my bacon? Just like... Here it is. Good. Let me eat my bacon and then we'll hoover. It's just got a hoover with a logo on it going, The Bacon Hoovering Company. <laughs> oh dear. My brain has too much space for random crap, doesn't it? Oh well. Where would you be if you didn't have a brain that was full of random crap? Having bad flashbacks from the shots. <laughs> really? I thought they would be good uh, flashbacks. I thought they'd be really good. I mean, it was kind of your own fault. You said every time that I said, come on Eileen, you would take a shot. And I hate to tell you, in a game like Silent Hill 4, that's very frequent. <laughs> that was your fault. So... You know, in the end, if you felt ill or just in general pretty destroyed after that, you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> well, that's alright. Everyone else had a good time. What are you doing, Robin? Can we go and pull the other lever, please? Thank you very much. Having bacon, Will Hoover season one. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Swapping to PC quickly. Chip, are you heating up some bacon in your PC? <laughs> I reckon he is. He's trying to hide it from everyone. But deep down, he's got bacon in his PC. If it isn't the console... Oh, no, there's studs. Sorry, Mel. Studs are important. <laughs> studs are life. Stud is love. Stud is life. <laughs> really? Aim at the guy. Yes, kill guy. That's what we like. Uh, what did Mel say? If it isn't co uh, the consequences of my own actions... Damn, indeed going to ignore for the studs. <laughs> I'll have you know that studs are love, studs are life. You know, studs are a way of life. We need studs. We always need studs. <laughs> it's how we do things in the world of Lego. We live on studs. <laughs> Could be like some sort of stud drug company, I swear. <laughs> have you taken your studs? <laughs> Yes. No, you haven't. Do 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 do. Don't worry, I'll get there important. You're damn right they're important. I'll tell you what now. If there was a purple one, just comment over at that point <laughs> the comment's over it's literally completely over as soon as a purple studs on the uh, screen it is a right gimme 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 now 
purple stud is literally your life. It's your life savings, practically, a purple stud. <laughs> there you go, Robin. Come on over. I think I'd die. What, if you didn't get purple studs? I mean, to be fair, I know the feeling. <laughs> I know the feeling. No, I know that's not what the comment was on about. <laughs> uh, Mel, are you doing a shot challenge for how many studs? <laughs> Christ. If she did a stud challenge for how many studs I collect, I don't know if she would still even be here, chip. <laughs> that's a bit extreme. There are endless studs, I'll have you know. Endless. It's a way of just, you know, how Lego is. It is stud galore. Uh, purple studs are elite. They are elite. They are a way of life, Mel. Purple studs are a way of life. Without the purple stud, you just don't really have it, do you? Ooh, studs. <laughs> Study, stud, stud. I wonder if I can run them over. Oh, I actually can. Very nice. Oh no, my studs. No, my studs. I need studs. Oh. 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 <laughs> Back in the days when they didn't have voices, then they would just go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Do, 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 Wish we could have collect purple studs in real Oh man. Purple studs in real life? No, that would be a dream, wouldn't it? Christ. The difference it would make to your life. <laughs> would be a whole new life practically. Although then I would expect that what would happen is if uh, purple studs could be picked up in real life and earn you as much as they do in this game. Then just all the prices for everything would be insanely high all the time. <laughs> so in the end, the purple stud would end up just being worth almost nothing. <laughs> That's the way of life. I've got that Lego Batman song stuck in my head now after the last level. <laughs> it's a very catchy song. There we go. They sound like they're throwing up. Nah, they're fine. <laughs> Back chip. Back at it again, are you chip? Back at it again. If anyone knows what that meme is, you have been around back in the past. However, if you don't know what that meme is, you never lived. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. It was a very strange meme, that one. Very strange. It didn't make an awful lot of sense. I don't really know why it became such a big deal back in the days, but here we are. It's the way it goes. It is an old meme. Very old. I remember it was being modded into games. <laughs> I remember when uh, someone made a mod. <laughs> this one was good. On um, Call of the Dead from Black Ops 1 Zombies where they made the damn Daniel gun where literally you shot like a grenade launcher and it was just white vans coming out and every time they came out all you would hear is damn Daniel just constantly it was a hilarious weapon <laughs> it was better than the meme the meme was dreadful the, uh, the other bit was just so much better it was hilarious what a gun that was what a fantastic mod as well. I don't know how he just fell off there, but 
I'm not impressed. OG game. It is an OG game. What an awesome OG game though, hey? Welcome to the stream, by the way, Drippy. Oh, go on. There we go. Nice. Everyone loves Lego Batman 1, and if you don't love Lego Batman 1, then, well, you're not a gamer, are you? Let's be real. You are not a gamer if you don't like Lego Batman 1. <laughs> the fact I own, like, two discs uh, of this game and never played it. What? You never played it? Why not? <laughs> Why did you never play it? You should play it. Really? Oh, yeah, there is. That's fair enough. Yeah, you should play it. It's an awesome game. Play Lego Batman. I miss Daniel and his white fans. Do you? I don't. <laughs> I will admit, I miss the mod. <laughs> I don't miss the actual meme at all. Uh, I play Lego Batman 2 and 3 but never wanted to play one. Are you mad? You should play one. <laughs> play one. You shouldn't play 3. 3 is awful. You should play one. <laughs> Three is not worth your time. One is definitely worth your time. Not three. Oh. Right, and then we got two phase. Only a true gamer enjoys Lego Batman One. Yeah, damn right. Lego Marvel Super Heroes is the best Lego game. I mean, it's a good game, don't get me wrong. I love that game. But it's not the best to me. But it is a good game. Definitely is a good game. I don't deny that at all. I do love that game. I have to confess that I was very disappointed by the second one. And to be honest, Lego Avengers. <laughs> But no, Lego Marvel Super Heroes is a very good game. I do like that game. Whoa, what are you doing? Don't backflip into the uh, acid, please, Robin. That doesn't help. <laughs> Wee. Yeah, I was kind of surprised actually, you know, like Lego Marvel uh, Super Hero 1 was really good. Honestly, it was a super awesome game that. And then the second one just, I was surprised. I honestly thought the second one was going to be just as good. But it just really wasn't. It's was kind of sad. I really expected more from it. Oh well. You can't always get a perfect game, can you? It's still alright, I guess, but it could have been so much more. Lego Marvel Super Hero 2, uh, I still got a complete, but it's not a really good game. No, it's not, I agree. See, you actually have the same opinion as me regarding that. I remember when it came out and there was just literally zero hype for that game as well. There really wasn't any hype around the second one. There was so much hype, by the way, around the first one, for people that don't know. That game just had a whole other level of hype. Um, but yeah, you know, the second one just didn't have it. And to be honest, the second one really just wasn't that great. It could have been so much more. That's what I'm kind of sad about. I really thought it could have just been super successful. Do you want to get on? What are you doing? Get on the boat. Thank you. <laughs> but also Lego uh, Marvel's Avengers, which was based off of the films. That one wasn't very impressive. It's a shame. Because that one could have been really good. Ooh, purple stuff. But, yeah. I don't know. Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll get another Lego Marvel Superhero 
different kind of game, which would be good. Kind of like Suicide Squad killed just to see had a lot of hype, but didn't live up to the hype. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't quite say it had a lot of hype, but fair enough. Even Lego Marvel Super Hero 2 didn't really have a lot of hype, to be brutally honest. Could have had more. I don't know if I can get all of them. Yes, I can. What? How did you not die in one hit like the other lot? Unbelievable. Right. Oh, there is actually one other guy. I didn't even realise he was there. Fair enough. Well, he's dead now. <laughs> Right, where's uh, Robin gone, and why has he not appeared? Robin, I need you to come and pull something. Where are you? What the hell is he doing? Where are you? He's still on the freaking boat. Why didn't he get off the boat? Nice one, Batman. I really appreciate that, mate. You could have just stayed where you were. I don't trust him. Right. Please don't. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I've seen Batman just die multiple times from acid. But, you know. What can you do? <laughs> he had to kill me, didn't he, at one point. He had to do it. Right, okay. Let's pull these. Alright. Come on, AI. Let's do it. Nice. Well done, AI. Uh, it's good when AI actually cooperates. Oh, yeah, this room. I forgot about this room. This is like the most ridiculously over-the-top kind of room ever. Whee! Whoa. Okay. Huh. It's actually kind of a bit... Horrifying this room. I mean, it's actually impressive that the AI actually jumps over these. I honestly thought the AI would not even bother and just literally, you know, <laughs> just stand there and just take the lasers. Oh, there we go, the AI is just taking the laser. <laughs> just as I said it. Amazing. Right, here we go. Die, Two Face. <laughs> They're all just literally sitting on the bottom of the stairs getting absolutely wrecked. That's amazing. As you do. <laughs> That's great. Oh, mini kit. I have that. Die, Two Face. Please get out of the way. Uh, right. Now you just stay out of the way for a minute, Two Face. I want to get some more studs so I can get superhero mode. What the hell is that? Oh, well, he's on a gun, isn't he? I forgot about that. Yeah, nice. Alright, we did it. There's only one level that we didn't manage to get superhero on, and that was the Mr. Freeze one. Ah, we can get that later, it won't be a big deal. Just get the two times stud and we'll be all good to go. Lego game characters are immortal. They are immortal indeed. They can never die. <laughs> oh, imagine what that would be like in real life, eh? just get shot by a piece of Lego or whatever and you come back to life. Certainly be an interesting twist, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so 
As long as you don't shoot at me, Riddler, we'll be all good. Hey, stop it. I'm trying to build stuff. No. Right. Oh. Ow. Quickly. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, how's it feel? Oh my god. Really? Chill out. <laughs> Actually, I can't remember it in this game when you build stuff and you get hit whether it affects you like it does in uh, LEGO Star Wars. In LEGO Star Wars, if you get shot at or, you know, attacked at any point while you're building things, it literally resets everything that you built. It was really annoying. That was one of those features I was glad they got rid of in later on LEGO games. That was really annoying. Right, here we go. Right, let's kill Riddler so he's out of the way. Come on, buddy. It's time to die. Can we go over here, please? Alright, let's hit. Also, I love the way that Two-Face is just sitting up there, cowering away. It's kind of a bit pathetic, but there we go. <laughs> that is Two-Face for you. He's a coward. <laughs> Robin just stands there. He's like, yeah, I could vacuum up, Riddler. Would you like me to use my vacuum cleaner? <laughs> but no, Robin doesn't use a vacuum cleaner on the Riddler. Instead, he just stands there. <laughs> Just stands there and admires. Um. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was watching why Two Face wasn't coming down. Die! Oh my god. Okay, where are you? Punch him in the face, Robin. Punch him in the face. Knock the Lego out of him. Yes. Right. Oh my god. Okay. Punch Harvey Dent again. <laughs> I'm actually going into a secret vault. <laughs> okay. Right. Kill the Riddler. And he's dead. Nice. Arkham characters dying, Lego characters not dying yet, pretty much. <laughs> to be honest, I always wondered how the Basilisk became a skeleton in Lego HP8, considering the snake is plastic. Yeah, good question. Uh, you'll have to email TT about that. Send him an email, be like, listen, guys, where's the logic? It doesn't make sense. And they'll respond back with a full written essay email about why they did it. <laughs> There's no such thing as magic. I'm surprised, by the way, Chip, I know you're probably still here. I'm surprised that you move to your PC rather than sitting on your bed. Because <laughs> that's normally where you just live when it comes to streams and stuff. It must have been something very interesting on the PC. <laughs> Unless it was something to do with bacon. There's Clayface. Good old Clayface. Uh, do you have a favourite Arkham character if you play the Arkham I certainly have played the Arkham games. i played all of them. Um, yes, I do probably have a favourite Arkham character, to be fair. I mean, I like a lot of Arkham characters, actually, but 
I guess for me, a character that really stood out and got developed quite a bit in the Arkham games, who I quite liked, uh, would be the Mad Hatter. I personally thought Mad Hatter was really good in both Arkham City and Origins. You know, they did a really good job with him there. Uh, he was alright in Arkham Knight. He wasn't fantastic, but he was still decent. But no, in Arkham City and also Arkham Origins, I really like Mad Hatter. I think his best appearance, though, has to be Arkham Origins. But yes. No, I was a big fan of him. But like I said, I liked a lot of characters inside the Arkham games. I think they did a really good job with the characters in the Arkham games. There's no denying that. No denying it. Uh, bacon? What's this about bacon? <laughs> yeah, well, thought I'd make the effort. You thought you'd make the effort, what, to sit at your PC? Just for the sake of sitting at your PC. <laughs> Fair enough. It's a very random thing to make the effort for. All that, just to sit at the PC. <laughs> Is it worth it, though? Or are you doing something on the PC? Let me guess, are you coding, Chip? <laughs> are you coding away? Yes, did it. Right, let's get some studs. Everyone likes studs. Dunk. Uh, bro, I got Arkham Knight on my PC the other day for £4.26 and it wouldn't open. <laughs> oh, yeah. To be fair, Arkham Knight PC port was a pretty mm, port. That's all I have to say on it, really. It works to an extent. <laughs> Granted, they did improve that port, granted, a lot, actually. Uh, it was quite bad, though. It definitely had its problems. But yeah, no, I think, to be fair, you probably should just verify it a few times, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Who knows, I guess it depends. If you're on Windows 11, then I wouldn't even be surprised. I noticed that recently after an update from Windows 11, I've seen quite a few people at the moment that have had a lot of trouble with games on PC, which is interesting to see. So it looks like Windows 11 has broken quite a few games, <laughs> as you would expect, because it's Windows 11. Um, but yeah, actually I was amazed to read today that, you know, They've got a Fallout sale, right? Because, of course, the new Fallout TV show is a thing. And Fallout 3, <laughs> they put it on for sale. They've also put it for free somewhere else, so that you can just play it if you want. And it doesn't even work on Windows 11. It's not compatible in any regard on Windows 11. It's quite funny. <laughs> I think Bethesda doesn't need to focus on doing an update to Fallout 4 right now. I think they need to focus on doing an update to Fallout 3. It's too tricky trying to do Discord and YouTube on the same phone. Nah, it's fine. You can do it on a phone. Just switch back and forth. Right, now can I play as the villain side? That'll be really cool if I can. Oh, I think I can. Nice. We can play as the villains. Awesome. Right, the villain stories are always good fun, actually. I like the villain stories in this game. I also love the music that normally plays here. Don't mind me. <laughs> it's slightly ingrained in my brain forever, that music. Uh, I just got for that New Vegas and oh god, doggy. 
But yeah, Fallout 3, um, there's no point getting it if you have Windows 11. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> and even the fix that was made, by the way, by people to make it work after they kind of didn't give a crap when they attempted to remove games from Windows Live from it years ago. Uh, yeah, well that doesn't work on Windows 11, so that's good. So currently, unless you have Windows 10, or for some ungodforsaken reason you use a lower down Windows, I don't know why you would unless it's a virtual machine, uh, then yeah, you can't play for that free, so that's great. <laughs> I think Bethesda really should go and do some maintenance on their older games. It's not exactly like they've got much else going on in their lives, is it? <laughs> I don't think they need to worry too much about Starfield. No one cares about it. <laughs> I think they should probably focus on games they actually know that people will play. But here we are. I'm an actor. Yeah, well, I'm a clay actor in this case. <sighs> music. <laughs> I want the music back. <laughs> it's not right without it. Just doesn't feel right. I just want another game without Suicide Squad or Harley Quinn. You want another game without Harley Quinn? Well, I mean, if it's an Arkham game, you're guaranteed to get Harley Quinn, but fair enough. <laughs> to be fair, I wouldn't mind seeing a sequel to Arkham Origins, actually. It still annoys me that there is a gap in between the Arkham games with Arkham Origins and Asylum. And I would just like them to bridge in that gap and then you can do the origins of some of the villains that, you know, were not introduced in Arkham Origins. So why not do it? It's like a guaranteed set of that. You are guaranteed to make money from it. Why not do it? Just do it. <laughs> it makes sense to do it. <laughs> I would like to see it. Whee. But yeah, you know, I think people were too harsh on Arkham Origins. It's not perfect by any means, but it's a good game still, in my opinion. And actually, in all honesty, it has some of the best boss fights in the series. So, you can certainly give it that. When you compare um, Deathstroke's boss fight in Arkham Origins to Arkham Knight, it's kind of a joke. Because <laughs> he's just got the most badass boss fight in Arkham Origins, and then you go to Arkham Knight and it's just the same tank battle that you had with the Arkham Knight. And when you think you're about to fight Deathstroke, when he jumps out of the freaking tank, all that happens is it's a cutscene where he gets knocked out and you're like, really? <laughs> Why? Why didn't we get to fight him at the very least? Come on. It's depressing, man. It's depressing. <laughs> they did Deathstroke dirty in Arkham Knight. They could have done more with him. Do, 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 do. Uh, why are Batman and Robin just hanging around there? Because they're having a great time. Decon Backfire's mission was the worst swipe mission in all the games. Uh, Decon Backfire's mission. Was it the worst? It's not good, I will admit that. Uh, was it the worst? I 
I don't know if I'll call it the worst in some ways in Arkham Origins having to go and collect random black cape inmates just tons of them for no apparent reason at the end was a bit long winded it would have been alright if the villains actually had a bit more to them but they were just random thugs and that was it I was like oh okay <laughs> so yeah I don't know I think that one might be worse That laugh thing in the background, a little eerie, thought I left the game on or something. You definitely left the game on, don't you worry. It's Lego Batman in your uh, in the background. Just quickly looked at the Discord and I see a cat doing circles of another cat and I don't even know what the hell's going on in the bottom bit. But anyway, yeah, it's something. Anyway, <laughs> let's do the villain side, shall we? Yes, villain time, villain time. That's <laughs> the sheep walking here. <laughs> I feel like Clayface right now is what Chip would be like if he was getting bored with coding, just rolling around on his chair. <laughs> Ooh, good. Oh my god, look who it is. It's Mr. Luke, the guy who points out fixes. Welcome to the stream and happy birthday, Mr. Luke. Welcome. And, uh, yeah, well, anyway, you've got a um, lot of birthday messages today. <laughs> I will confess. What have you been up to on your birthday, Luke? What have you been up to? What have you been doing? I would like to know what crazy things you've been up to, apart from playing HP8 on your birthday. Okay. First mini kit, let's grab it. Yes, Mr. Luke. I appreciate that you played HP8 on your birthday. What a thing to do. I mean, that's taking one for the team, really. But <laughs> what else have you actually been doing? Yeah, so I started my birthday by playing HP8. <laughs> what a way to start the birthday, Christ. I'm not sure I would want to ever start a birthday like that. That just sounds like the worst birthday you could start. <laughs> Doing something like that. Oh dear. Anyway. Yeah. Um, then I spent most of the day working on my uni stuff. And this evening I had a lovely dinner date. Oh, well there you go. Lucky you. Well, I suppose the working in the uni bit is not so lucky. But the last bit's lucky. <laughs> Started your birthday last night by watching the Two Towers, eh? It's a good film. And then I slept and started my morning with HP8. <laughs> what an amazing way to do it! I didn't send you upside down HP8. 
Ah, oh, you should have played that, Luke. That would have been the perfect way to play, you know, HB8 on your birthday. Why play it properly when you can play it upside down, right? Where's the fun in playing it properly when you can play it upside down? <laughs> and just feel ill on your birthday. Why not feel ill on your birthday? It's worth it. Wow. Right, I reckon I can reach that. If I could. Come on. <laughs> Oh. Actually, can I just pull this one? Yeah, okay, fair enough. I dare you. Anyone dare me to make a Lego live stream play this? <laughs> have I done that many Lego live streams? I don't know, have I? I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, let me think about it. So, I've done, what, the whole of Lego HP years 1 to 4. And I do mean the whole of it. We literally did the whole game and all the side stuff and that. That was like about eight live streams long, I think. Um, then I've done two episodes of LEGO HP years five to seven. We'll carry on with that again at some point. Um, then I've done one live stream of LEGO Lord of the Rings. And then I've done this, Lego Batman. So, yeah, okay, I've done a few Lego games. Oh, no, there's also, of course, all the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga stuff as well. I forgot about that. So, uh, yeah, there's there's a fair chunk, actually. <laughs> there is a fair chunk. I've done more than I gave myself credit for. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> maybe not yet, but you're getting close to a whole lot by this point. It's true, actually. I am getting somewhat close, aren't I? <laughs> I'm getting there. Right. Riddler, uh, are you needed? No. What's the point of that? No? Okay, fair enough. I honestly thought that might have some use, but maybe not. Huh, fair enough. Alright, let's move this then. So many DMs on Discord tonight. Endless DMs. Everyone wants to DM me. <laughs> I know it's Saturday, but you can chill out. Chill, chill. Calm yourselves. I'm sure Chip is getting DMs about bacon by now. And if not, then what's wrong with you? Like, why are you not DMing him about bacon? <laughs> you should be trying to get as much bacon offers as you can from Chip. I mean, why wouldn't you? You have the potential chance of getting free bacon. <laughs> I would take it. Oh. Ah, Chip. <laughs> now you're joining in in the uh, DMing spree, I see. I see how it is. When you wish you had a grapple hook. Oh, the pain. Right. What's this? Can I not just go in through the wall here and go in there? I mean, I am made of clay. 
Yeah. Oh, there's purple stud in there. That's freaking awesome, man. Literally purple studs. Wait, can I? Oh, I actually can. Oh, I can't reach that, though. Mm -hmm. Depressing. Oh, well. Go away. Thank you. I should also mention, by the way, when we go back to play uh, HP2 PS2 again on stream, I will probably end up actually tossing in HP3 PS2 at the same time. For the simple reason that what we have left of HP2 PS2 is not really enough to justify actually, well, you know, doing a whole stream on it because there's not really much left of it. And I can't be asked to do 100% of that game for you lot, by the way, on stream. You've got a video series for that. <laughs> I haven't got the will to care. But, uh, yeah. I'll probably do HP3 PS2 afterwards, because it makes sense to do it. It's also a really good game that I absolutely love and think is, you know, better than HP2 PS2. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's me. So I would happily go and listen to Snape have cough problems any day of the week. Why wouldn't you want to hear him just go... Bleh, 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 bleh. Or Hagrid having some mental seizure from Glacius or Lumos or something. But yeah. Either way, that's probably what's going to happen. So expect it. Because you should expect it. Oh, man. Oh, man, 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 man. I'm too tired these days. Way too tired. Uh, Snape secretly has asthma. Yeah, probably he does, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what is that sound effect? <laughs> oh, blue studs, blue studs, blue studs. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I like blue. Right, there we go. Blue studs, gimme. I need blue. I need it. Right, let's go. Bulldoze away. Yeah. Oh, can I blow this up? Oh, come on. Really? You really can't break that. Come on, <laughs> please. I wish to abuse the mechanics and blow this up. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Right. Uh oh, hang on a minute. Ugh. Right. Ah. Oh my god, those actually do more damage than I gave them credit for. I didn't think they were going to do that much damage, I will be honest. Alright, let's throw the bin away. Where am I actually supposed to be going? Uh, that way, yeah. Fair enough. Right. Hang on. Do that. Right, come on. Let's go. There is a blue stud. Give it to me. Thank you. 
Right. Oh, can I? Oh, I can, I think. There. No, 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 what are you doing? Right, thank you. Yeah, nice. Everyone loves a bit of mini kit. Yeah. Stop shooting at me for a minute. Sound effect. <laughs> Love it. Mini kit, mini kit. Give me the mini, mini, mini kits. That. I guess that's part of the bomb thing. Oh, can I break this down? Oh. Excuse me. Thank you. It's kind of interesting how they built that part of the level, but there's just nothing there. It's just pure, empty, barren wasteland space. And then somehow, when Batman and Robin come through here, all of this furniture I just blew up repairs itself. As you do. Yoink. those can I? No, I can't. Oh well. Oh my god, how did this guy manage to hit Clayface? How? How is that even possible? <laughs> He's literally behind a window. How does he manage to do that? I will never know. Alright, give me the studs. What's going on? Am I supposed to drive the police car into it? No? Ah, oh, right there. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh my god, what is it with this level and the random lag spikes? That's kind of annoying. Right, cool. Done it. Yeah, they pulled it off in a good way, didn't they? Ooh, well. do, 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 do. Thanks for that chip, by the way. I appreciate you dimmy, uh, dimming. I can't even speak. I appreciate you DMing me just to add to the DM list for literally no apparent reason. Really appreciate it. Uh, Mike and Mel's cinema picture. All oh, right, yeah, I see. So there's Mel as a green M&M &M and Mike looking horrified as an orange M&M. &M. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's great. You know what, that is great. I will give it that. Mike <laughs> looks terrified, doesn't he? As an M&M, he really... It suits Mike, actually, the M&M. It suits him. Oh, I don't know about the whole happiness of Mel's M&M versus Mike's one. There's a really big difference. <laughs> one looks super happy, the other one looks super concerned. Uh, yeah, go on. Do 
No, they're both purple M&Ms in the back. Nah, they're not purple. Nah, 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 nah. Mel's M&M is the one at the front that's green, and Mike is the one that's orange. Don't count the purples. <laughs> I think we both slay. <laughs> Riddler on the toilet, that sounds about normal. <laughs> Mel seems to think that she slays as an Eminem. Oh, fair play. Oh, bloody hell, I'm freaking knackered today. Well, I've been knackered most of the week, I suppose, but yeah. <laughs> it's really kicking in tonight. To be fair, I fell asleep in my uh, chair yesterday. <laughs> I love it. Chip was just like, you should go to bed. I went, no, if I go to bed, I'll wake up at like 3 a.m. and then I just fell asleep in my chair. <laughs> and then I was awake at 3 a.m., which was really freaking annoying, so I really appreciated that. I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen. It annoys me that I fell asleep in the end. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> but oh well. Welcome to the theme. <laughs> Oh, blue stud. Blue, blue, blue. Give me. Blue stud is important. Blue stud is like a blue M&M. And then the purple stud is like a purple M&M. It's just how it goes in life, you know. Basically, Mel is the purple stud, I guess. And Mike is the blue stud. There you go. As you seem to think, they're both purple. And I can't have them both being purple. We've got to give them some kind of identity in this game. <laughs> And that's the identity they've got. <laughs> I think it's a pretty reasonable identity. <laughs> oh my god, they actually were hiding in there. Fair play. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what happens when you don't listen to Chip. Well, no. In the end, I ended up listening to you and things didn't go right. Well, I didn't listen to you, really. But I guess my brain listened to you and things didn't go right. So, actually, it was a terrible idea. down there just yet. Well done shit. And everyone listen to chip. I don't know about that. But well done shit for being chip, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, John, when are you going to create a meme of Mike and Mel as studs? Where Mel is the purple stud and Mike is the blue stud in the Lego games. When is it happening, John? Come on. I was expecting to see Stud Mel and Stud Mike by now. Whee! Ah, hang on. I'm pulling things, guys. Rawr. Uh, 
can vouch for the originality, I took the picture from a hedge <laughs> with a really big lens on my camera. I'd rather be paid a stud than be one to be honest. Well, tough luck now, you're becoming a stud now. John, make her a stud. <laughs> that noise from Mr. Freeze. I'm pretty sure Mr. Freeze doesn't get ooh. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Freeze doesn't do that. As incredible as that sound is, I don't think he goes ooh. <laughs> what a sound, though. Man. I like it. <laughs> I'll be waiting for the results, John. Alex, when did you grow a beard? When did I grow a beard? I've had a beard for ages right now. I wouldn't say I'm growing it, I'm just being a lazy sod and can't be asked to shave it. <laughs> I'll eventually bother to uh, ungrow it, if you like, by shaving it off. But right now, my hair is so long that as a result, <laughs> the beard is barely even noticeable. <laughs> It's alright though, the hair will be going soon, it will be much less lengthy and will be short again because it's pissing me off now because it keeps getting in my eyes. <laughs> it needs to come off some of it and be more reasonable to see. It's a nightmare when trying to hoover. It's a true nightmare. Oh, thanks, Freeze, for just casually falling on that. I really appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Alex is going to get a glow up. What, are you saying that I don't look incredible right now? Oh, day. <laughs> But nah, I mean, to be fair, it needs to be done. And I haven't actually had a haircut now since November. Like, literally, the very beginning of November was when I last had a haircut. <laughs> it's been a very long time, actually. And my hair grows pretty fast in the summer as well, so it'll probably grow super quick if we actually get some heat this year. But at the moment, it seems to be staying nice and cold, which is a good thing, and I hope it remains that way. It's good because it keeps the pollen down and I'm all for it, especially in times where we're at the moment where you start getting tree pollen which causes my asthma to go off. So actually, I'm really pleased about the situation and I hope that it stays wet, horrible and miserable for a good while. You, um, you people that don't get hay fever don't understand how much we hay fever people hate summer. We love winter. It's a much nicer time period for us. <laughs> Mel from Wish. Mel's from Wish, is she? Well, there you go. Oh, come on. He wasn't that far away. Pick up the studs quickly. <laughs> okay, good. Right, here you go. It's a clip. Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. It's a clip of the one he got from players you want to. 
formerly known as Alex Beard. Well, that's certainly something. Um... Did you have one last stream? Yeah. <laughs> have you not noticed that I've had one for like how many streams at this point? <laughs> Endless. Christ, I can't even remember when I probably didn't have one. Uh, what did we stream at the beginning of the year, John? <laughs> there you go. John could probably tell you. That'll give you the answer, Chip. <laughs> Would have been that long ago, so I don't know, maybe Hogwarts Legacy or something was when I didn't have one. <laughs> it's been a long time. Oh, look at them all. That is oddly satisfying, freezing people. Oh, look, these dudes were what? They're just having a chill time. Anyway, uh, we need a combination of when Alex doesn't read the chat properly. It's very common. Don't you worry. probably get a haircut but probably wouldn't notice for several streams yeah I mean I'd be surprised if you wouldn't notice if I'm honest Chip. it would be quite blindingly obvious actually if I had a haircut usually it is pretty obvious Alright, let's go. <laughs> if I change my accent, would Chip notice? I feel like he probably would notice. Should be quite obvious. <laughs> I don't think Chip is that, you know, out of the loop. not actually what I wanted you to do, but fair enough. You can freeze, Riddler, if you like. Freeze. Alright, come here, Riddler. Alex, to speak Scottish. Good God, no. Are you mad? Uh, right, can I have the platform back, please? Thank you. Freeze. Alright, and again. <laughs> Good stuff. Whee, there's a purple stud. Yeah, boy. Chip. I think at this point, Chip, you just you've lost the brain cells to realise what's happening in the world, but you've still got the brain cells to realise how to listen to things to an extent. It's all right, Chip. You'll figure out everything. Maybe you just need bacon in order to power your senses.
Wait, where's Riddler gone? <laughs> uh, Riddy, where are you? I do kind of need you. Please hurry up and come back here. Uh, he's probably stuck on a bloody object, isn't he? <sighs> where are you, Riddler? Oi, Riddler, where are you? Oh my god, he's stuck all the way over here. For the love of Christ almighty, mate. What are you doing with your life? How could you? I need to get things done. <laughs> Freeze. Can we not get stuck on objects, please? Right, let's go. Do 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 Love it. It's so weird when you don't hear any actual voices now in the Lego games. It almost doesn't feel natural for how long we've had voices in Lego games. Do you mind? Thank you. Oh, there's a purple stud over there. There is a actual purple stud just chilling out waiting for me. It's waiting. How many of you policemen are oh, there? Jesus Christ, man. Die. No build. What are you doing? No, thank you. Oh my god. Why? Alright, oh, we'll just do this. Hello, mate. Can I get close enough? I can't get close enough. Okay, fair enough. Alright, we're going to have to do this. Build. Shooting at me. Purple stud. Yes. <laughs> Alright, come on then. Kill them all. Wow. Hi guys, how are we doing? Wow, thanks for that freeze, I really appreciate it. Right, anyway, what order do we need? So we need blue, blue, green, yellow, red. Blue, green, yellow, red. And we're done. There we go. Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Do, 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 do. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. You've done well, John. You have officially created a M and M stud. Mel is a purple stud, and Mike is a blue stud. Congratulations, Mel, on becoming a purple stud. I know it's everything you wanted in life. <laughs> it must feel great becoming a purple stud. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> to be fair, not wrong actually. If you combine both studs together, you can make the ultimate rich stud. <laughs> there you go. Set for life. So there you are, Mel. You are now a purple stud. <laughs> You've become many things, haven't you, Mel? You're, let me think about this. You're a purple stud. You're an M&M. &M. You're Darth Mel. <laughs> You're many things, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you, my lifelong dream. It's a pretty damn good dream, isn't it? Jack of all trades, master of no. That's fine. Does that mean Memo is more valuable than me? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's not gone down well, has it? <laughs> oh, what a response. <laughs> what a response. That is an amazing response. Mike fought that one through very carefully, didn't he? <laughs> oh man, what a response. I'm impressed. <laughs> I actually think Mike really did think that one through perfectly. And my god, what a good way of thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, in theory, the purple stud is worth a lot more in terms of currency. <laughs> but they're both pretty damn valuable. Purple is super valuable, it has to be said. I don't know how you take that one, to be honest, Mike. I'll, uh, I'll let your brain contemplate that one. Hello, Gavin. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Uh, there you are, Mike. I've just picked you up. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Have you played Lego Star Wars? Yeah, I played every Lego game. <laughs> I've played all the Lego games. Too many Lego games in my life, including the ones that people probably haven't played. That were not made by TT, but came around before TT's time, like Lego Racers and stuff. I played them all. It's been a very interesting thing as well. <laughs> Can I drive this through here? Oh, come on, really? That could totally fit. That could so totally fit. Alright, fine. I did forget to blow up a plant back here, and I know that's a bit weird with poison ivy destroying plants, but we're destroying plants. So, there you go. Yoink. Well, what was that all about? No, grab the freaking. Thank you. <laughs> nice mini kits. We always love mini kits in life, they are a way of life after all. Imagine if your uni thesis could just be handing in a mini kit. 
Imagine how much easier life would be. <laughs> so what have you done for your thesis? I've built some mini kits into an incredible creation. Yeah, you just stay there, Riddler. I'm just getting some studs. Don't mind me. Right, come on. Let's open the door. Do. I'll have to keep an eye on multiple areas now. Bow down to the superior. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not worthy. <laughs> okay, that is quite funny. Do you, uh, I have a favourite Lego game? Yeah, Lego Lord of the Rings. That's my favourite, personally. Lego Lord of the Rings, I consider the best Lego game, personally. I like lots of the Lego games, though. There are some that I think are not so great, for sure. But there are some that I absolutely love, and Lego Lord of the Rings is by far the top for me. Big fan of Lego Lord of the Rings. There's some very horrifying things going on on the Discord server, by the way. Truly horrifying. Um, Mike has just been called a peasant. Quite literally a peasant. <laughs> by Mel. <laughs> it's a horrifying reality that we live in. It's truly just disturbing that, you know, Mike is being called a peasant when he's a blue stud. <laughs> when he's actually worth quite a bit. <laughs> but there we are. Bow, 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 me, bow, man. Horrifying. I think you'll find it's iconic, actually. Uh, don't know. Oi, open up your flap again, mate. I need to talk to you with rid the stick, or else I can't go anywhere. Also, this freaking giant plant is awesome. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I am so used to hearing the music in this level and the previous level with the heroes and it's just not quite right not hearing it. <laughs> It's disturbingly quiet <laughs> without it. It's, it's not right. <laughs> God, imagine if this was how this game was like when you played it as a young guy or young woman, I suppose, whatever. Anyway, it would have been horrifyingly not right not having the music because it just feels so barren. <laughs> it feels so barren without the music. <laughs> not right <laughs> it's really not right you see with something like lego star wars the skywalker saga when we did that and we turned off the music that was a very different case because to be fair there's a lot of sounds inside of the general worlds and that but in the end it actually didn't even feel that horrendous not having the music there sure it would have helped but it wasn't the most awful thing in the world whereas here not having the music it's it's really noticeable <laughs> And it hits on another level. It hits hard. Give me studs. Give me studs. I like studs. Give me studs. <sighs> Why are there so many plants to kill? God, any environmentalist would hate the Lego games, wouldn't they? <laughs> They'd be like, how dare you destroy that plant? <laughs> Do, 
There you go, you can create the Harry Potter scene, but in Lego Batman, can't you? It's like, Poison Ivy, how dare you destroy that plant? <laughs> oh, you could do all manner of things with Harry Potter quotes, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm now a peasant Eminem. Yeah. It's alright, Mike. You'll be fine. Not a fan. Not as awesome as my favourite plant from Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, the noise. Yes. You're still a part of the superior gang. Is that so? <laughs> Careful, Mike. The superior gang has a purple stud leader, and that purple stud leader also is known as Darth Mel. Anyone with Darth in their name can't be trusted. They have something to hide. They're usually in control of the Senate as well. So that's never a good thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, the best part is Mel won't have a clue what any of that means, but everyone else will. Because <laughs> everyone else knows Star Wars, while Mel just screams in horror that she has no idea what everyone's on about. Ah, <laughs> oh, the pain. Wow. Ooh. My god, how many of you police guys are there? Jesus Christ, so many of you. Where have you all come from? You're just like zip lining in from the sky. This isn't freaking Titanfall, mate. Not just like, you know, in the middle of a pod game. Prepare for Titanfall <laughs> on the ground. As awesome as that would be, to be fair. <laughs> Stand by for Titanfall. <laughs> Mel couldn't be trusted before the Darth. Yeah. No, no. Dodgy one, that Mel. Dodgy one. I don't give a damn about my bad reputation. <laughs> oh yeah, John. I showed it to Chip and Mel, I think. I can't remember if I showed it to anyone else. But we have a new Guitar Hero guitar now. I managed to successfully go and find one on the worlds of the Ebays for a sensible price, not an insane price, a sensible one. And uh, yeah, well now as a result, we have a new replacement, well not new, but you know, a replacement, I'll call it new, Guitar Hero Guitar, so we can actually play Guitar Hero again. Likewise, we can play Rock Band as well. Now I just need to be awake to play it. <laughs> but yes, otherwise, we can now play that. That is possible to bring back again. So yes, Guitar Hero and Rock Band can return. And also, the new guitar is really awesome, by the way. Super awesome guitar. It was actually quite interesting looking up this one that I got, because it's actually quite a rare one to get. I was quite surprised by that. I was like, huh. They barely made any of these versions of the Guitar Hero guitar, and uh, it's one of the best ones, apparently. <laughs> it's also normally really expensive, so to get it for a good price was kind of a bargain. I'll take it. But yeah, we have Guitar Hero back in action, back in the ways. Ah. <sighs> 
So yes, we can now rock it out or metal it out or I guess in the case of Band Hero, pop it out. <laughs> and then DJ Hero is... What would you even say for that one? Z zooming it out, I guess? <laughs> they go for... Yeah, you can all look at Poison Ivy for a minute. Oh. A happy ending, eh? Alright. Very nice. We'll have to look forward to it in action. Yes, indeed. At some point you will get to see the guitar in action. It will make its way onto the screen where the old guitar could not. Which is still in the house, by the way. It's just behind the white curtain thing. It's somewhat in pieces at the moment, but it it's still here. Is it really usable anymore? Not really. <laughs> I mean, you could play, I guess, to an extent with it. The downside is you could never use the red button on it ever so effectively every song that you play you would always miss red notes and let me tell you when you're playing on hard and expert that's not really a possibility <laughs> you can't be doing that Whee. <laughs> Very good. Why is Riddler sleeping in midair? I don't know. Good question. Alex said he was going to do Sing Star Stream. Well, actually, she said Steam too, but uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> A good try, but I'm not. There will be no Sing Star. No Sing Star. I don't even think Sing Star still exists anymore. I think all the servers for it were shut down. I'm not sure you could actually play Sing Star anymore. <laughs> wow. Can't even play Guitar Hero Live properly anymore, really. I mean, you can play the bass songs on Guitar Hero Live, but. They're all a bit... Eh? <laughs> There's like probably two alright songs on the base version. All the rest were actually on the live TV bit, which is now shut down so you can never use it again. So basically owning Guitar Hero Live is pointless and nobody, including myself, who loves the series, considers Guitar Hero Live a part of the series. And it's not a part of the series, so we're just going to leave it at that, really. And that's the way we go. Boink. Come back. Thank you. <laughs> Under the sea. <laughs> Yoink. Wait, what? <laughs> I just randomly activated a load of water up there. Interesting. How the hell did I do that? No clue. <sighs> right. 
just a little bit. Oh, nice. We're actually at the end of this level now. This level is a long level compared to some of the other ones, to be fair. Some of the other levels are so short in comparison to this. Oh, I'd even argue that the uh, Batman and Robin version of this level is way shorter. noises that you expect to hear all the time from Lego characters. Right. Can you please stop spawning for a minute? No? Okay. <laughs> Come on then. Ow. 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 No, not build. Oh my days, can we not, can we please not keep doing that? This is taking the mick, how am I supposed to do anything? Thank you. Right, now I might actually be able to do something. Go away, please. <laughs> Constantly attacking me. You see, unless I've got the whole police department just chilling on top of this freaking greenhouse. <laughs> Yourself useful. Kill a police from my yeah. Thank you. Right, now die. <laughs> I love the way he's grappling in as well. He's like some random caretaker here and he's just grappling in. As you do. Ow. <laughs> Seriously. Where's my blue stuff gone? Dunno. It's literally falling through the map, I think. Can you stop spawning? <laughs> Seriously. Nice. 
Did you see the eclipse? Nah. Well, I saw it on the TV, but that's about it. Well, the War of the Studs. Intriguing. There. <laughs> there is a giant purple stud against a <laughs> against a very nice blue stud trying to make its way through life. <laughs> oh man, the poor studs. What are they gonna do with their lives? Poor studs. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for it. Hey, um, Chip. I know you're here. Go and have a read of the Lord of the Rings speedrunning server. That's all I have to say to you. Have a read of all the messages in there. I'll read them later, but you might as well have a look. Oh, you have done so, have you? Very good. I haven't yet because I've been streaming, but I see there's a lot going on in there. Anything interesting by any chance? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Right, so more people testing it. Uh, no crashes and much smoother. All right, so it sounds like they're all pretty pleased with themselves. Good to hear. I don't suppose you said anything to them, did you? I don't know if you had any reason to say anything to them, but thought I'd ask. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I forgot to unmute it. That would help. <laughs> Sorry. Literally forgot to give you some lovely, you know, stud action noises. Uh, yeah, just to say, it looks like it's working well for everyone. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'll have a read of that stuff in a little bit, Chip. When I'm done with this, I'll go and read all their comments. Either way, so, are there, like, new people at least testing the, uh, Lord of the Rings fix? Or are they the same people from before? Either way, I assume that they're all going to probably be using it quite a bit soon. I'd be surprised if they don't. It would be in their best interests. <laughs> More different people. Nice. That's what I like to see. It's always nice when you get loads of new people having a go. That's what we need. That's what we need in life in general. Loads of new people just having a grand old time testing fixes. Oh, how much easier testing life would be. <laughs> but yes, that's good to hear. I will have a read of it properly in a little bit. Because I'm interested to see what they're all saying and stuff. I bet you didn't know, Chip, that all of us from the team are actually in that server. 
<laughs> Bet you had no idea about that, did you? Well, okay, maybe Lucas, but everyone else is. I actually missed a lot of what you said because I'm munching a bag of crisps. Well, you shouldn't have been munching a bag of crisps, should you? Deary me. That's your own fault, Chip. You'll have to rewind. <laughs> actually, I should have been looking at the screen there to see what freaking colours I'm meant to be looking at. Great. Oh, well. I'll just have to get it wrong so I can figure out what colours I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> I didn't see any of it. Let's have a guess. Bam, 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 bam. That was not right as I kind of thought it wouldn't be. Blue, red, yellow, green. Okay. Blue, red, yellow, green. Blue, red, yellow, green. Blue, red, yellow, green. There we go. So I'm asking for a friend. Oh dear. When did he join it? I actually don't know when he joined it, Chip, to be fair. I have a suspicious feeling he might have joined it yesterday. I'm not certain. It might not have been yesterday, it might have been at some other point, but either way, I was a little bit surprised when I saw him in there. I was like, oh, interesting. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. But there we are. Either way, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Took me by surprise. A bit like, you know, the memes of Mel and... Mike being studs. I also love the way that there's just some guy casually swimming in toxic waste. I mean, as you do. <laughs> we just picked up a mic. Maybe you sent him the link, you can't remember. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me too much, I suppose. I don't know when he uh, joined, to be fair, Chip. I really don't know. Hey, honestly, could have been any time. Any time at all. Not sure. But, uh, yeah, he is in there. So there you go. <laughs> Either way, some pretty cool stuff. A lot of cool things happening these days. A lot of cool things. A lot of not so cool things as well, but a lot of cool things usually. Everyone likes cool stuff. I mean, if you don't like cool stuff, then what's wrong with you? But everyone likes cool stuff. Hell 
Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Ollie Green, hello they mate. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Hey man, love uh, your zombies, your Black Ops zombies tutorial videos. I'm glad you do. Super helpful and straight to the point, and it's great seeing the older maps have these kind of tutorials. No, I'm happy to do them. Uh, I appreciate the love. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that, Lee. Uh Yeah, no, I like to do really straight to the point guides, and, you know, I don't fuss about with those guides. I just make them what they should be. And in all fairness, there is also a big project, of course, being made, which is a big part of why they're being made, um, which is the COD Zombie Guides website, which, of course, focuses on old and new games. So, yes. There's a lot of stuff there, but I'm glad they're being put to good use and people find them helpful. It's always nice to hear. But thank you for saying that. I appreciate it. Oh my god, this thing is so slow. <laughs> it's so slow. Wow. That speed, though. Proper speed demon right there. <laughs> right, I'll be dent time. Hell yeah! No! I want the blue stud! No! I can't get it. That's actually depressing. Really? Oh, come on! That is so unfair. It's literally just sitting there as well. Pain on another level. Oh well. The usual sir. Okay, you guys gonna stop trying to kill me so I can read the chat? No? No, okay. No, not. Fair enough. Oh my god, I just killed some rather random people. I didn't even realise they were behind the door. <laughs> it just sort of whacked and yeah, that was the end of them. Uh Toxic waste does wonders for the skin. It does. It does. So inconsiderate of them to try and kill you when you're reading the chat. I agree, Mel, I agree. It's really difficult. I didn't think this game was going to be so difficult to read the chat. But it is, it's actually quite challenging to ever read the chat. Because every time I try to, I'm always being attacked. Like, always. And then I lose all my studs. I've never had this problem with other LEGO games, really. You know, LEGO Lord of the Rings, there was always a really good point you know, in the levels, to be able to actually read the chat. Likewise, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga wasn't too bad. But this game... <laughs> it's hard. Like, what are you doing? Right. Give me studs. <laughs> give me fuel, give me fire, give me cover to attack. Woo! Right, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh... Oh, mini kit up there. I guess I blow up these uh, gold bits, do I? Yep, fair enough. Ooh, my god, look at this funky machine. That is one hell of a funky machine. This is the new Hoover technology that Chip has just got put into his amazing business called Chips Hoovers. It's already doing great Chips Hoovers, making the rounds everywhere. The guy is literally rich as hell now, just from creating a hover hoover. Looks like a pod racer. <laughs> it's a hoover pod racer. Imagine that in the Moss Eisley pod racer. You'd just be hoovering up all the desert. Hoover pod extreme. <laughs> Looks like it would clean an airport. Yeah.
Now, this is risky, but I really want that mini kit. Uh, oh, really? Are you serious, game? Well, I guess I got the mini kit. Don't know how well I'm going to be able to get those studs. Probably not very well. Go! Oh, I think I managed... No, I didn't get one. I was going to say, I think I managed to get one. But nah, can't get the studs. Ah, oh, well, it was depressing, but there we go. Right, let's go. Do, 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 do. Something about Chip's hoovering service I saw there. Chip's hoovering service is premium quality. Yellow, red, green. Okay, uh, what am I inputting that on? Oh, right here. <laughs> Fair enough. Yellow, red, green. There we go. When you say, Mel, that Chip's hoovering service did a really good job of cleaning your house, was that cleaning you out of ice cream? By any chance? Because <laughs> I'm sure he would be very good at that. I think Rilla's doing all right out there, to be fair. <laughs> oh my god. Mike's freaking comment. <laughs> Jesus. Of course, only Mike could come up with a comment like that, I might add. Of course, Mike would do it. <laughs> oh, that's amusing. There are studs on the floor. I want them. <laughs> no, not really. That. There we are. Destroy. It's like a Terminator.
That's better. Just get rid of him. Luke is running away. My God. I can't believe Luke is doing a runner. On his birthday. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. It's nice to see you, Luke. Thanks for chilling out and sitting around. We'll see you in the future, Luke. God, I see people talking about chips cleaning services in the mean chat now. <laughs> Christ almighty. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That is bad. Mike, you need a reality check, my friend. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. It has not gone well for you, Chip, with your cleaning service all of a sudden. <laughs> it was going fine for a while. <laughs> right, this is the last one out of the Riddler evil side. And then that's all the evil side of Riddler. And also the good side of Riddler, which is cool. I honestly love to do that. That looks really fun, ice skating on a random like river or lake or whatever this bit is actually supposed to be. It does look really fun. Do 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 do. Oh, what a song! <laughs> I love it. It's just two faces. Reaction is basically just well, being stunned and somehow not dead. How is he not dead from that? I will never know. But here we are. It is the two face. Oh god. Not the helicopter. I didn't need the helicopter. Ah, stop it. Ooh. Ooh, mini kit. None. I like mini kits. They're so useful. They're so freaking cool. Please go away, helicopter. I really don't want you to blow me up. <laughs> oh, hello. What are you going to do? Something useful? Uh, maybe. Yes. Building time, eh? That's what we like. Go on then, build away. Nice. Alright. Looks like I should be able to blow open the gate as well. That'll be handy. 
Ooh, blue stud. Everyone loves a blue stud. And another one. <laughs> nice. I will admit, this is the only problem with Mel being the purple stud, I guess, compared to Mike being the blue one, is that Mike is much more common to find in levels. Mel isn't. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. You're way too rare these days. <laughs> I wonder if I can actually... Nah. I am... <laughs> the mere commoner. <laughs> Rare is a good thing. It means <laughs> means I'm unique. Well, it's true, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Please don't. <laughs> Away. I'll have you know that, Mike, you're not quite a commoner. Although I will admit there have been quite a lot of blue studs in this playthrough, actually. Which is not always that common, actually, in LEGO games, so I'm surprised. But, yeah, alright, you're becoming somewhat common in this game. <laughs> Ooh, look, there you are, Mike. But kind of flattering to be called a stud. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Fair enough. Wee. I hear you. literally blue studs there and it's just pain because you want the blue stud you want it but you can't get it I remember I had a friend who played a Lego game and went I don't understand the point of studs I don't know why there are so many studs I hate studs <laughs> He was just obsessed with the fact that there were way too many studs, and he went, "There's no so pointless having so many studs." <laughs> he just couldn't get it out of his head. He was like, oh, "I hate the fact that there are so many studs." <laughs> it was kind of funny. I will not lie. But there you go. That is the classic case of someone that doesn't understand how studs work. Well, you know, they tried. Seriously, thank you. You know, you've got to think about it. At some point soon, we're going to go back to Silent Hill 4, right? And we'll be entering that sort of area where things are going to get a bit difficult for select members. When I say select members, I mean one member, and that is Mel. Um, anyway, she's going to have a really rough time because, of course... What's going to happen is, well, no, I can't get that. Well, anyway, she's going to have to have a lot of shots, probably, because of the fact that there's going to be a lot of come on ID. But, you know, it's just what's going to happen. It will be the end of, I guess, her pain at the end of that live stream, because I doubt we'll be going beyond three live streams for Site Nail 4, probably. I mean, maybe we will, but I somehow doubt it. I don't think it's going to happen. Either way, she's going to have a rough time. <laughs> right, let's get some studs while we're here. Go away. Ah! What are you doing? Oh, there we go. 
Do, 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 do. Ah, Spiri's here. Hello. Hello, Spiri. Welcome to the stream. It's rough when you're getting attacked by helicopters. <laughs> Oh my days. I've literally only just walked through the door. Chill out, guys. Wow, I love the way he's just willingly already walking through. <laughs> he's just like, I don't want to be mind controlled. I might as well just make my way through. <laughs> You're going to get mind controlled anyway, buddy, but whatever. Time to go backwards. Because I want studs. I have to confess, the office is not looking too great at the moment, is it? <laughs> it's all being turned into studs to collect. Who needs Bertie Bots every flavour beans when you can have studs? Oh great, uh, here comes security. Come on then. favorite jelly bean is soup. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> what kind of soup? I'm at soup. What do you mean you're at soup? I'm in the soup store. What are you doing trying to buy clothes in a soup store? Shut up. <laughs> I bet you there'll be so many people that won't have a clue what that meme is, but... Man, what a meme that was. That was a highlight of uni back in the day. <laughs> nah, we're not having soap. It's soup, my friend. We're going with soup. I want to make the meme joke, damn it. <sighs> I can't go up there. That's pain, but what, how do you even get up there? Oh, it'll be with that. Yeah, fair enough. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, hello. No one deserves soap as much as you. Well, yeah, fair enough. If you really want some soap, you can have a bar of soap.
Do, 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 do. Uh, well, that looks fun. Right. I see that Chip has put what looks like a monkey in the meme chat. I'm not sure why he's put a monkey in the meme chat, but he's put a monkey in the meme chat. So there you go, there is a monkey now in the meme chat. I'm sure there's a reason behind it. Ugh, why are there so many secrets that you can't get? It's depressing. Super villain on every single level in this campaign. Get in there. Right, come on, Riddler. Send me up. Hey, Chip, I have ice cream. Chip will be very excited if you have ice cream. Chip will come running if you have ice cream, actually. You should, uh, should make it more obvious you have ice cream. <laughs> Ice cream, where? <laughs> it's right here. Poor Riddler can't cross the boundary because he's not been in toxic waste. <laughs> Although I could argue that Dent kind of hasn't been in toxic waste. I guess it depends what story arc you go for with him. Two face. Will you just... thank you. <laughs> that is just torturous. Putting a frickin' mini kit right there and you can't get it. It's not fair, man. It's not fair. <sighs> I see John is coming up with an unpopular opinion. What's his unpopular opinion? Um, unpopular opinion, I know. But I've even said it. Don't like ice cream. You don't like ice cream. You don't like ice cream. I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> I truly don't know how it's possible to not like ice cream. Are you sure you're real? You're not like some kind of fake AI... John or something that doesn't understand what an ice cream is? <laughs> Are you sure? Remember, if you say that you don't like ice cream, you can never take that back. Everyone will forevermore judge you for not liking ice cream. You don't put ice in drinks. How the hell? <laughs> you... How can you not put ice in drinks? <laughs> this is not right, man. There is something wrong with John. I think he has a problem. Big time problems. Jesus Christ, man. That's almost as bad as having a Deathly Hallows lover role on the Discord server. No, in fact, that could be just as bad, if not worse. I think it could be worse. 
It might be worse. No, I think it's worse. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's worse. Jesus Christ, man, that is not right. Not right. Oh, and we got the uh, we got the admin. What am I even gonna call it? I haven't even thought of a name for it yet. I'll call it the admin hiring <laughs> going on soon. Don't make me get rid of you, John, as an admin because you don't like ice cream or ice and drinks. That'd be a terrible way to lose an admin role. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. I think we're going to have to deal with something here. How the hell can you not like ice cream? I guess I could just about accept, just about accept no ice in a drink. But really? Really? <laughs> don't like ice cream. I've never met anyone that says they don't like ice cream. <laughs> I don't know. Something's not right. Are you under the Imperious curse by any chance? Just checking. <laughs> I mean, that's the sort of thing I would expect from someone that's under the Imperious curse. said he did like rice pudding. <laughs> well, that would be an act of treason. <laughs> what is this guy doing on the ladder? Right, thank you. Jane's not going to pass the screening process for admin. <laughs> no, I don't think he is. <laughs> it's not looking good for him. <clears throat> All admins must like ice cream in small print. <clears throat> Damn. I am not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. Very disappointed, very disappointed. That's a hard hitter, that one. <laughs> Which chip might be promoted to head admin? Awesome to use. It's quite fun too. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of it now. Right, ow. Alright, here we go. And it's done. If you're not a fan of bread and butter pudding, that's a crime. It's a literal crime. It's just a crime as well, I mean, to not like ice cream. It's a crime to not want ice in your drinks, especially when you're somewhere warm. It's a crime to not like ice pudding. It's just so many offences being made here. <laughs> Ooh, red. 
Disappointed. That's all I have to say. I'm just disappointed. There's no other way of looking at this situation. Very, very, very disappointed. Right. Anyway, been let down by too many, too many things today. <laughs> Endless letdowns in the chat. God. Next thing you know, people are going to say that they don't like prawns. Now, if that happens, you're banned. I will literally ban you from the chat. <laughs> that really is a crime. Not pleased. I'm not pleased. Oh yeah, I forgot to unmute it. There you go. <laughs> I was so angry at the lack of rice puddings and stuff like that that I had to forget that I need to actually unmute the game. Great, let's go back to Batman Robin. At least you like tea, and that's reasonable. Yes, you are winning, Chip. You're doing really well. I'm going to pretend that Mike doesn't exist. Uh, that's probably for the best. Oh, dear. This is not good, man. This is not good. I'll tell you what, you're all failing at the admin roles at the moment. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> it's not looking good for the election. <laughs> it's really not looking good. I don't believe you too. I don't believe you Mel and I certainly don't believe you Mike. I basically don't believe you, Mike, about anything, though, I'm going to be honest, because half the time you just make up things, let's be real. Uh, but I am very disappointed right now. Very disappointed. It's like I've just been slapped in the face by a million copies of HPA and told, just keep going. Keep playing it. It's fun. You know you enjoy it. Keep playing it. That's what it feels like right now. I'm very disappointed in so many people right now. <laughs> you don't even realise how disappointed I am deep down. <laughs> you have no idea. Even Alfred has got an empty plate. He's that disappointed. He's literally walking around with an empty tray. I think he's just committed suicide. Oh no, he's teleported over there. He's just like, ah, despicable this, isn't it, Master Bruce? It's true. I agree with you, Alfred. It is despicable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable behaviour. I'm like a dustbin or eat mostly anything. <laughs> well, that's one way of putting it. What about cheap crappy food then, Jim? <laughs>
Yes, you can punch Alfred in the uh, back cave. You're correct, Enrad. Damn, there's something wrong with some of you people. <laughs> It's really kicking in now. The mind is not happy. It's all right, I'm just going to pretend that everyone has disappeared except for Chip, who says he likes everything, and that that's fine. That's what I like. Just remember that. Chip likes everything. It's important. He likes all food. <laughs> it's, it's the right thing. In life, it's the right thing. Right. <laughs> anyway, oh, actually, we can get suit upgrades, can't we? I forgot about that. Hang on a sec. Fast grapple done. Hey, look, we got Batgirl and also uh, Nightwing now. That's cool. Hey. <laughs> right. Do you mind, Robin? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, after the disappointment of food problems, I think. What is this? <laughs> You're not getting banned. Anyway, as funny as it would be, you're not getting banned. <laughs> no, but anyway, I think we've done a reasonable junk of the game here today. We've done Riddler's side for both the heroes and the villains, which is cool. I was hoping that we could do the villains as well. So this means that when we do Lego Batman 1 again, we'll do Penguin stories, and then that'll be the hero side for Penguin and the villain side for Penguin in one stream, and then the next one we can do Joker side for the heroes and Joker side for the villains. And then I guess after that we could probably fit in like some of the collecting, the mini kits and stuff like that. And I feel like probably one video, Lego Batman's probably not as lengthy as Lego HP, especially as Lego HP has an open world and this doesn't. So we'll probably get it there. We'll probably get it there. Anyway, I have to confess that it was good fun coming back to this day. I like this game. I am freaking shattered though, so I have barely got the brain power to do a lot of things today, and it certainly is feeling that way. And it will probably continue to feel that way for many days. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. But either way, I enjoyed this. It was good fun, and yeah, well, I'm glad I could do it. Now, as for streams going forwards, uh, well, I think we will definitely come back and do Lego HP, Lego HP, not Lego HP, HP2, PS2 even, and finish that off probably next, I think that'll probably be the next stream, we'll finish that one off, and like I said before, I doubt that it would be a very long stream that if you just did the PS2 Chamber of Secrets. Because, to be honest, there isn't much of the game left where we left it at. So, I think I'll probably throw in Prisoner of Azkaban for the PS2 as well. Both awesome games, super awesome, and I'm looking forward to it. Now, when will we next stream? That is a good question. I don't know when we'll next uh, <laughs> stream, to be brutally honest. In a lot of ways, I could stream next Saturday, but I'm not sure I'm going to. Uh, I might take a break for a week and focus on sorting out some video things that need focus to get those done and out of the way then I can probably dedicate more time to doing streaming stuff again but yeah I do need to sort out some video stuff there are some big projects in all honesty that are just sitting waiting to be done that really should have been done some of them 
like nearly half a year ago now. So, yeah, I need to get on with them. I need to sort them out. But, you know, it's what it is. Either way, I will definitely do a stream, but I can't promise it'll be next Saturday. If it's not next Saturday, it'll probably be the Saturday afterwards. So, you'll see something either way. Uh, also, regarding streaming with Winch, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. I know he's back in the UK, but I don't know what he's doing. So, when he eventually contacts me again, then sure, I might be able to figure something out regarding what's going on there. But at the time of this, anyway, I have no idea what he's up to. So, we'll just have to wait on that one. But, um, yeah, either way, you know, that's that. And I think there's not really much else to say other than, of course, the pin comment that's been in the chat for the whole of today is for the just released earlier this week uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King pick PC fix video even and yeah if you want to play Lord of the Rings Return of the King on PC in the best way possible and just have an awesome time playing one of the most awesome Lord of the Rings games ever made on PC then your fix video is there it explains how to get the fix how to use it and just how to play an awesome game so it's all there for you. Likewise, it's up on the channel, so you can easily find it anyway. But it's there. And then as for the Discord link, if you're interested in joining it, then it's down in the description. Other than that, I think, to be fair, I'm going to have to leave it there. I also see that just a name joined right at the end. I am sorry that you joined at the very end, but hey, anyway, it is what it is. Um, but I guess to answer your question quickly at the end, think they are remaking like a Harry Potter game or just rumours? Rumours. None of that will be real. They're not remaking Lego like Harry Potter. It'd be completely pointless for them to do that, especially after remastering it. They won't do that. So yeah, there you go, just answering that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I think I'll leave it there. So thanks for coming by everyone and I will see you possibly next Saturday, if not, then the Saturday after. Either way, thank you all, and I'll see you later.